Welcome, everybody. We are back. Thank you for joining us. Today's episode is sponsored by Quip Captera Ring 23ME. Today with us are two of my favorite people in the world, Christina P. and Tom Segura. God bless them. Today we celebrate the release of Christina P.'s new special out on Netflix right now, featured in The Degenerates. Also touring uh, Christina P. Online.com and Tom Segura. Also touring. Yes, sir. At uh, TomSegura.com slash tour. Thank you for saying it correctly. Wow. Well, hey, it is tour. Yeah. Tour? tour, tour, tour. I like to get out. Some of the tour. East Coast people they say a uh, tournament. What? what? Yeah, and I'm always like, Wait, mean, are you serious? Wait, yeah, say it yeah, again. Yeah. They That's say a different word. That's tournament. the wrong word. They say tournament. Tournament. Like there's a like Brian Sickler. They say tour. Yeah, like he might be one of those people. I have friends from Philly that, that? go, like, uh, are you going to stay for the tournament? And I'm like, oh. the tournament. <laughs> And I don't know. It's a real problem. <coughs> I feel like that's not the right word. No. I think it's completely wrong to say it like that. Am I missing? Something? But the spelling, I guess, <laughs> could lead you to be like, yeah, it's tour. No meant so tournament. That's just... How do you say it? Tour. No, no. No. I'm saying. Tour. I'm talking tournament. about a tournament. Tournament. You tournament. say tournament. Yeah. Tournament. You don't say tournament. No. No, that's insane. <laughs> that's madness. <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> and we're back. Thank you guys uh, so much for being here. Happy No Nut November to both of you. Yeah. Oh, I've heard of this. Yeah, I'm been... fucking backed up. Are right you now? backed up? <laughs> oh, I am. Do you, you don't know about No No Nut November? Well, it's, I'm assuming I've seen some some rumblings on the internet. This is just not to jizz for November. Yeah, yeah, yeah. in short. But I mean, I after sober, no. you yeah. can say whatever the frickin' heck you want. Frick heck. Okay, yeah. good. Okay. <laughs> after yeah, sober no. October, though. No jizz November. It's not happening. <laughs> but I haven't jizzed. We, when's the last this time? This whole you... month, you haven't jizzed. Not on purpose. Yeah, pretty much. You'll go. A, you'll go a seven <laughs> days in a month without even. I'm trying to think. When... Here, here's why you were traveling, and I got sick. You don't you jerk when sick. you. Tra- I, I don't. None of those things inhibit me. Okay, I jerked. I jerked. <laughs> may, maybe the first or second. But now we're, I mean, now it's like five days of built up. It's backed up. You, I can feel an ache. Mm. I'm kind of feeling short. I can short tell and, when your yeah. nuts are empty and when they're full. Yeah. You mean you by, the, by the the load the, size? The, the the girth of the testes, the hang. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, Do you agree with she's, that? She's pretty good at it. <laughs> yeah. I didn't I didn't even know that about myself. That uh, yeah. she'll. I, I guess I'll, it's got to store somewhere. I'll lean over and be like, <laughs> let me slide it in. And she'll be like, hold on. And then she'll do like an exam. She's like, "Oh yeah, oh, been oof. This is dangerous. Yeah. Like one of those." Wait, I'll, what? But... I'll be like, "Oh, there's glue's gonna come out. Like it's been a long time." Oh my time. goodness, that's yeah. graphic. But I feel like <laughs> I'm. See, I'm feeling kind of short. I'm feeling kind of aggressive today. And she'll also pick up on that. She'll be like, uh, yeah. "You're that upset about, dude? That's like, amazing. Yeah. You guys yeah. are really uh, honed in on each other's uh, load sizes and well, yeah. <laughs> behavior. That's well, amazing. We've been together for 14 years. Right. So when he's angry, 10 years officially married tomorrow. Tomorrow. Oh my oh. goodness, yeah. that's wonderful. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> well, you guys are truly excellent, amazing. One of the great couples on oh, the thanks, planet. Buddy. Yes. So I'm very like I celebrate. So can that. you think um, we could work something out though? For what? For getting this thing out tomorrow. <laughs> Sure. We'll see. You can <laughs> masturbate. Yeah, but then it ruins it. Oh. It ruins what, babe? The fun of, of you being like, that's so much. Oh, I can. <laughs> can I be honest? <laughs> can I be honest oh right here God. now? Yes, yeah. <laughs> I don't think I've gone more. Oh, my God. I'm trying to honestly think. This guy really jerks it. That's what he's going to tell me? I don't think I've gone more than a day without what? ejaculating. What? Maybe since I was like. A day? Uh, don't look at me. They're 15. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Maybe a couple days. Damn, homie. But you, for me, it's like, you know, there's this great, you guys have seen the Seinfeld about the competition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Kramer has this great line that has resonated with me since I heard it. They, she says, uh, the end masturbating. Word. No. That, <laughs> that has, re- I have stuck with me. <laughs> I think about it every day. <laughs> he goes, uh, Elaine wants to join the competition. Yeah. And they say, that's not fair. She says, well, you know, masturbating is like shaving your legs. And she says, I shave my, it's like shaving. She says, I shave my legs. And Kramer says, not every day. That's right. Right. Yeah. Right. That's right. Well, that's true. Now, let me ask you something, though, because yeah, I'm, sure. I'm assuming you guys aren't getting it in every day, marital loves. Mm. So are you, where do you, where are you doing your thing? Is it a shower? A shower, question. bathroom. <laughs> and does, well, not where you're going to notice me, that's no, for sure. I, I don't you keep you. it a secret, though. <laughs> yeah. Well, some things. Have you been caught? Have you been caught? <laughs> Actually, no. I can't no, wait to either. catch him. I've never been I caught. I can't wait. <laughs> I think I was caught once by my mm, Mom, but I think I was under the blanket. And it was more embarrassing than dramatic. But uh, Ela will never catch me masturbating. 
Why is that? Why are you saying because it? Because I'm slick. Like... Because I'm, I, I, this, I don't, this is the thing. You're saying it like I'm a bad detective. I don't, like, do you, are you trying to walk in on me, I'm Master I'm not, Barry? but now that you're saying you it. Up, <laughs> now, now the detective's going to come yeah. out, though. Now I'm not safe. <laughs> You're just going to be like in the middle. You're going to be really close and your head will be back. And then you're just going to see her face like in the, through a door. It's going to be in the reflection of the monitor yep. watching porn. And then... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I, but you don't care. You can go a week without even thinking about it, huh? No, I, I mean, I think about it a lot. But sometimes I'll go like, here's the thing too, man. We got two kids. Yeah. And we have uh, a little. One's a, a real little yeah. one. Yeah. So like your sleep and and, you know, when you have a busy schedule... Like we you know we we're all doing a lot of things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sometimes it's like it's literally, oh my god, I just got to bed and I'm so tired. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it'll be like, oh, it's morning, I could do it right now, mm-hmm. and I will, mm-hmm. um, or in night the sh- in the shower. Yeah, shower, and then. But I'm saying sometimes like that, I'll be like, uh, th- is this going to be a good one? Mm-hmm. Or you know what I mean? Because there's ones where you're like that was a disappointing one. At this <laughs> point, then, they're all disappointing for me. What are you talking? about? How is it disappointing? There's disappointing nuts where you're just like. Oh, man, that was just, it got, I mean, it just got some of the food through the system, but it's not like, <laughs> it, you know what I mean? It's like this. Let, let me put it this way. Sure. It's just like. Like stale chips. You jerk off, mm-hmm. and it's just like, and then you're like, all right. It's right. not, there's no, there's almost no pleasure. It's right. It's like compulsive. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. I'm because really backed it's, up right it's now. It's just attention. Okay. Really. I got. I hear you. Tomorrow we'll do it. I oh, wow. Well, you here to, you go. Uh, oh, we are gonna, with a maybe. Yeah. We have to understand Sober October kind of ruined that month, too, because he was exercising yes. like six hours a day that and really he was exhausted. That really did bug me up, yeah. man. I worked out for almost 4,000 minutes. So dumb. Which, uh, whatever that adds up That's to. That's a lot of minutes. <laughs> yeah, because it gives you a little recap on the, through the app. And yeah. I swear to you, we're, a lot of times we're doing two a days, like working out in the morning and then in the afternoon or evening. Hmm. And I would I would fall asleep like into the deepest slumber, <laughs> which is nice. Yeah, it was nice. Yeah, it was nice. Yeah, but I didn't have the uh, no nut time. The, the stamina. Should, should we tell them what happened? Wait, what? Please do. Remember? I don't remember what happened you don't this morning. <laughs> <laughs> During towards the end of sober October. I don't know. Just fucking. Suck. We <laughs> went. <laughs> all right, we went to make marital love. Mm-hmm. And I had full body cramps and had to stop. Oh yeah! <laughs> Wait, full body cramps? Oh, yeah, yes, I dude. Forgot. Like huh. arms, hamstrings, <laughs> yeah. butt. Oh everything. my god! I was like, oh. I was <laughs> like <laughs> and I, I was like, and here's the thing: I didn't even tell you this. I felt some of those cramps before I stopped, and I was like, fuck it, ignore it, don't, don't stop, yeah. don't stop. And then when it was to the point where like I felt like I was gonna fully collapse, is when I said something. <laughs> That's like, right. Yeah. I've never experienced a full body cramp. Well, it's, I mean, what I'm saying, I had, like, you know, I've had calf cramp, mm-hmm. arm, mm-hmm. Um, chat, like, these were all at once. Mm-hmm. Oh I was so God. dehydrated. Holy smokes. And, you know. How was, do, uh, it seems so intense. Do you enjoy it? Do you regret, I mean. With the, the October. The yeah, sober, the sober October. I enjoyed. The I, fitness aspect of it seems so intense. It was intense. I did enjoy it. I think it's fun to compete with friends. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's fun to go, like, Ethan, I bet I can do this. I would be like, And yeah. you go. Well, if you go like <laughs> I can do it too, and then like we really yeah, are, and then I'm checking on you, and you're checking on me. Mm-hmm. That part's fun. I think if I was just competing with like people on the internet, I'd be like, I don't know, yeah, who cares? Who cares? Yeah. yeah. What was was there any noticeable effects? For, have you lost weight? Are you feeling? But how is? I mean, you haven't even. I feel like. I'll tell you what, it ruins our home life. <laughs> I hate sober October. Because, yeah. like, where's dad? Just hiking yeah. for eight hours at a time. Like, right. our son is crying. I ran right. 12 miles son? one day. Just, Are you serious? Yeah, I oh fell behind and I got Holy freaked out. Yeah. yeah. Shit like that. Yeah. And you're like, what? Why are we doing this again? Yeah. You're, you're all over 40. We're all <laughs> I'm middle-aged. 30 and nine. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> What's Anyways. it like in the 40s? It feels good, actually. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Um, can we celebrate Miss Hila though and your yes. pregnancy? Yeah, I've been yeah, yeah. dying to talk to you about this. I know. Um, have you talked about this a lot on the yeah, show? Yeah, not a lot, but we've we're open we've, about it. Yeah, okay. we've, there's oh, a lot okay. to say. I'm sure about it. We're, we we keep doing little updates. Aww. Like we had an ultra, our first ultrasound. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, last week. <laughs> That's a cool. Yeah. There's like a little, there's a little uh, gummy bear. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> with a heartbeat. That yeah, was crazy. A heartbeat. Amazed. Do you have the yeah. when they do the ultrasound? I remember. I remember separate times. Then uh, the lady being like, uh, do you want to hear the heartbeat? Like, who goes, nah. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> you're saying it's there? All right. Yeah. And then you're like, yeah, of course. And then they go, do, 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 do. and you're like, oh, yeah, of, who doesn't want to hear that? Like, okay. They sure. should be concerned. They should set off a notification. Right. Yeah, like, I'm good. <laughs> yeah. 
It's such um, a cool moment. So you're feeling great? Yeah, I'm not nauseous at all. That's which is, huge. I guess weird. Everyone is like, mm -hmm. how? But I we've talked about how I've never puked. He in was my never life. puked in, in life. your life. So, in yeah. your life? It's it's yeah. in your life. Have <laughs> yeah. you ever even felt the uh, almost puke? Like have you ever almost puked? I've had this like when you when you Dry get a little something, something or, come up. Well, up there's been food. times when oh, that happened to me. It's like, scary. Burping. How's that even possible? I don't like, know. <laughs> <laughs> you mean like indigestion? Yeah, like yeah, that's the, not the same. You don't, you don't even that's know. That's the most. You don't. You. She so doesn't even understand what puking is. <laughs> I remember once we were at a party. She overdrank and she was feeling nauseous. I was about to. Ask. I was shoving my fingers down her throat, and she couldn't puke. Hey, you have a, do you not have a gag reflex? Maybe or I something? don't think she does. I don't uh, know, but so I. You've yeah, never ever done it with booze and it came up involuntarily? No, I like I blacked out a few times from alcohol, wow. but I would still not puke. Dangerous. Yeah. yeah. But regardless, it's serving you well in birth. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. Uh, yeah. I gotta say, there was this funny moment where before she, we knew she was pregnant, and she's like, God, this this pizza is so good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she started eating food, enjoying hell food, yeah. and we're like, what the hell is going on here? Yeah. And then, like, a couple of days later, we found out she was pregnant, and yeah. we're like, that's, that's, what, that's what it is. That. Dude, yeah. can I tell you, after I gave birth to our second son, Food just tasted like cardboard. Like I oh, lost my no, appetite. Oh no, that's what I'm afraid of. Because when I'm, you're when you're pregnant, it's like you're high. Yeah, and you just can't. I couldn't stop eating. I'm like enjoying food for the first time in a long time. Oh. I don't know. Like, I don't want it to sound depressing, but I'm enjoying food. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's oh, like that's the great. Yeah, I guess like when you're high. Yeah, and what are you eating the most of? What do you crave? I was just telling you, I I don't crave meat. Right. I don't, I can't. Do you normally meat. like meat though or no? No, but no. like this is more than usual. More than a kind of yeah. aversion. Yeah. Because yeah. 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 usually it's the opposite. Women get aversions to like salads <coughs> when you're huh. first trimester. You guys it's are going to be so good at parenting. <laughs> I can't. I'm sorry. This is your show. I shouldn't do that. <laughs> you can do that. There's no, um, there are no aren't rules. They, they're going to be the cutest little parent. You're going to be the best. I don't know. You guys are the sweetest fucking people. I swear yeah. to God. Like, I, I've been having like a midlife crisis, and you guys like <laughs> walk me from that edge. No, you know what I mean. Like, and you guys are all so supportive and the sweetest oh. goddamn people. I love just being around you guys. I've been excited about this podcast because so you guys, we. you guys are so f sweet and calming, and like you've got you've got like you've got your shit together, and you're so nice. Fine. Please. And you like us, it seems like, which we is love weird. You guys. We you love know? you guys. We That's love you guys. We're talking about this too. We've been trying to like schedule more dinners and yeah, it's fun. I, love I was so with you guys. sick the last time. Oh. I'm still oh, yeah. coughing. I yeah. I regret it. I I was a great regret. No, no. I, <laughs> I think actually when when you got, I think I was getting sick too. Mm. Mm. I got. Oh yeah, you had. Yeah, I got sick also. I got. I got antibiotics and. It was a whole thing. I didn't even go. Yeah. Now, Hila, are you gonna do a natural birth at the house, or are you gonna rent like a tub at the house? Are, are at we the house. Watch. <laughs> Live I'm stream. going to a hospital. That'll be a special are episode you? of the podcast. <laughs> oh, you don't know this? Uh, Jews aren't morons. <laughs> Wait, is that a Catholic? Wait, thing? did you do something? Um, Christian. Yeah, no. There's some okay. Christian fucking weirdos out there who are <laughs> no. absolutely. Wait, it's why not a it? Christian thing. It's Come a hippie on. thing. It's it's, a, it's weird. Can you white tell people. me what you're talking about? So there are lunatics. Yeah. <laughs> They're usually white. They're usually white. It's white people. It's white hippie vegan types. Yeah. They'll uh, have home births and they'll get like a tub and put it in the living room and then give birth in a tub and just not have any epidural or any pain medication. You know that your reaction is exactly what the reaction should be. Like right. It's a healthy reaction. And do people come and watch? <laughs> yeah, Sometimes man. they have yeah. parties. People come no, and watch. They have delivery parties. What you, Absolutely. <laughs> what do you expect that water looks like in the bathtub? It's so hot. <laughs> Dude, do they all take a sip at the end? I would uh, jump in that. <laughs> Dude, those babies. The ceremony is that the dad then gets in and jacks it. And jerks, and, yeah. yeah, he jerks. Yeah. He too. saves his nut for all of November. <laughs> That's right. It's huge load. <laughs> it's huge load. Number one delivery. No. Oh wow, no. that sounds. Yeah, I'm into that. No, it's all great. Right. All right, but yeah. So you know, Cat Cat Von D, mm -mm. the tattoo artist. She's like a famous tattoo artist. Anyway, she's pregnant right now, and she puts on Instagram she's going to have a home birth. She's oh going to do, God. like, Seems no dangerous. epidural. Uh, and no vaccination. No vaccinations on the kid, and she's oh. vegan. So she's eating vegan through her pregnancy. And look, hey, that's all, more power. That's your choice. But she just gets lit up, like, in the car. Honestly. <laughs> like, all day. Like, what are you what doing? Are you, guys, are you guys going to vaccinate, or how stupid well, are you? So, <laughs> <laughs> the thing is that um, when I was born, I don't think I had autism, but now I'm pretty sure that I do have autism. <laughs> 
<laughs> so great. I haven't seen any. So <laughs> I think no vaccines. Whatever the vaccine Good. is for to prevent autism. Um, yeah, you don't want that? I want, oh, I want no that? autism. Okay. Well, there she is. So this is the yeah, kind of we, stuff yeah. she posts. Oh, wow, she's got a lot of views. She is, she's very popular. She's very popular, I, yeah. I really like her, actually. She was on that show LA Inc. <coughs> Forever and Miami yeah. Inc. Um, but she just gets lit up. And, and you know, you, you kind of ask for it when you're like, home this? birth. Is, it, uh, is this something relevant here, Dan? Uh, uh, no, let's see yeah, here. she's talking about the home birth thing. Right. brought my husband and I closer, yada, 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 sisterhood. <laughs> Motherhood. Naturally, I become more empathetic. Can you scroll down, Dan? Is there any relevant uh, part here? Oh yeah, because that Just that caption's pretty. Home birth. Okay. Bunch of hubbub. Vaccine. Oh, here we go. Vaccine, vaccine your kids, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> vaccine your kids, idiot. Yeah. Yeah. So. Well, I do think that anti-vax is pretty insane. Oh, I mean, crazy. it's like yeah. it's so insane. No, dude. What? Are, who are these people? Where are they, where are these people? Well, there's a lot from? of conspiracy theory. I mean, that, well, a lot of people like they don't realize that, you know, the American medical journals have debunked that. Like that was entertained for a well, while, and then mm-hmm. they, were, why they are, actually did a, a valid study on it. And, yeah, you know, why are we not all walking around with autism? Right. Why are we all not? <laughs> yeah, I mean, we are all right. we're all vaccinated. vaccinated. Yeah. Smallpox yeah. is gone, but I mean, well, I guess we are a little autistic. I mean, look look at what's going on here. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. I think so, it might have something to do with you jacket every day, yeah. every oh. day. Really? Every day. Are you going to leave clues for you to find what's a little nut trail? Now I'm going to become a detective. <laughs> and now the detective is going to catch you, man. Sometimes I wish I jerked off less. But I can't. Just do it's it just less. part of the day. De- nope. Part of your thing. <laughs> it's just your daily Sometimes routine. Sometimes I do, con- I do have concern that it is a compulsive behavior. That it, might be true. Let yeah, me ask you this, because like there was a comic who I won't <laughs> sell out, but a comic told me that we were, we were going to do a show, and he was like, yeah, you know, I, I jerk off, like, in the hotel before shows, and I was like, oh, my God, mm. I, I would not do that at all. Why? No, because it would make me too tired. Yeah, mm. I was like, I don't want to feel tired to go do the yeah. show. Well, then why the opposite. You... I would like to, I would do it after a show, no. like get back to the room. Mm. You know, get easy. Yeah, then it's like, and then <laughs> romance and then yourself really, a Yeah. Oh, I like to. You know, I really <laughs> spend time with me. Yeah. No, but I. Does it not? Can you do it? And then, like, are you the type that it kind of knocks you out, or you're like, ah, oh, I can just, I just go out. It and... depends. You know, I found that jerking off in the morning is generally a bad idea. Really? Oh. Because it'll, it could slow your day down so much. Because uh-huh. mm-hmm. once you jerk off, like, you're going to be on your phone. But if you had, like, a big event, like, I don't know, you, you had to no, 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 no. I do wouldn't. it right before? No way. Yeah, that's what I was. No way. This guy performs like So that. you're a night jerker. Generally, I'm a night jerker. <laughs> he was keeping notes. Mm-hmm. I know. All so, of this. but aren't you guys together? I assume we you're are. watching your shows at night. You're doing. You're married. Huh? I, got I guess I fall asleep first. Look, there's not. Look, it happens, Ela. You. This is part of something. It just happens, and and uh, you. I've mind. got my clue. What are you doing? Let's tell. <laughs> where, where, when are you sneaking off? Are you one of these guys too? Do you pull up the Samsung and? This turned into an inquisition. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I generally yeah. Use the phone. Yeah, I'll use the phone. Do you ever do that thing? I've done this where, like, you kind of pay attention to how deeply she's sleeping, and you're like, I think I could do it right here. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, for sure. You are so sick. And then, I'm like, sure you have. Oh, I have. Yeah, oh, I my mean, God, really? Well, yeah. have you not masturbated in the bed when Tom was sleeping? No. And Hila, have you? I don't think so. Yeah, right. Oh, I, I know you so. have. Yes. Yes. That's yeah, a yes. Yeah, fine. you have. It's okay. Yeah. There's no shame uh, in your game. Yeah, no. Of uh, you're so embarrassed. Look at me. I'm fuck. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> telling you everybody about my compulsive masturbating. <laughs> you can't even admit to jerking off one time in the bed. Wait, I'm I'm, st- I'm stunned, you guys. Are, you're not afraid of being caught? I think the, the fear of being caught is really... I do that not That was kind of the caught. thrill, though, right? Oh, not not for me. I don't like being afraid. No, I don't. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not oh, no. afraid of being caught in that I'm so confident. <laughs> that I'm not gonna be caught. You're like asking for me to find. I'm just. I know what I'm doing. She doesn't want to catch me though, too, because <laughs> I, I noticed that like I, you know, my morning shower <laughs> is not usually a let one out. Usually not. Yeah. Sometimes I do, but you always go like, "Is it cool to come in?" You ask. Oh, I don't know what the fuck you're doing in there. Yeah, and I've a couple times I've been choking my chicken, and you came in. Really? <laughs> and Choke? you Really? It yeah. But you were like erect. Yeah, but I was able to like position myself. You kind of wow. Mm-hmm. You're like, you're like, hey, baby. Yeah. How's it? <laughs> Well, there's also enough steam, you know, yeah. so I was like, what's going on? See, the thing is, like, <laughs> we moved to a new house recently, and the bathroom, I don't have any privacy there because it's like, connected with the bedroom. Uh-huh. And so I'm really afraid to mm. jerk off in the shower these days because if you walk in, 
it's gonna be so obvious that I'm like concealing yeah. my boner. You guys have a mm. new game though. This is gonna be a fun game <laughs> where you'll continually jerk off I mean, every fun. day. You could catch, you know what? <laughs> She's it's gonna fun. Fun. I'll jerk off and you could be watching TV if that's cool with you. It's not gonna bother her. No, I don't you, think so. What do you mean? It's a little right? strange. Like if you're watching like a uh, 90 day fiance and I'm just beating off, is that a problem? While we're watching, yeah. both of, no, that would be weird. Yeah, you can't just get up and... I'm kidding. Okay. Right? It's like taking a dump. You can't yeah. just get up and take a dump. 90-day <coughs> fiance. Yeah, you watched that? We started to, I'm and then we forgot that. about it. <laughs> I Dude, what's the... Okay, what is the uh, the video you parody? Like, what did you make fun of? The reaction? Yeah, so you're talking about our new video. Yeah, the, I what, loved it. It was a TLC <laughs> pilot for I catfished my kid. That's so weird. <laughs> Which is funny oh, because heard. and they roasted the dad especially <laughs> well, for being such a fucking weirdo. This is such a great show. Um, <laughs> it never got picked up. It's funny because it's insane. The DLC of all people drew the line somehow here. Oh, because their roster is nothing but like obese people, <laughs> small tiny people, people giant small, They even had one that like I'm a fat black dwarf. It's like a yeah. series. <laughs> That's a, like, they, they follow people that have nothing inherently interesting about them other yeah. than that they look unusual. Yeah. Like and I, I love it. I could watch that channel well, I, nonstop. Dude, and when I'm bored, I go straight to TLC. And I'll <laughs> tell you, I got sucked in. I was watching this one about my 600-pound life. Yes, yeah. been there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And actually, it surprised me because there was actually a lot of... Uh, I'll tell you what, it shocked me because I was expecting something really... Uh, superficial, but they followed this lady for like ten years. Oh, yeah, well, that was pretty crazy. Okay. I mean, it was. Did un- she make it out all right? It was or unbelievable. No? She passed away. Really? No, she didn't. Oh. I don't know why I made that joke. I think it's because he was pregnant. It's like a dad joke. <laughs> oh, you're becoming uh, a dad. It's sometimes happening. Sometimes people make a joke. I like lie, and I think that's a joke. But it's like, why? Why did I just lie? Did I tell you about my uh, <laughs> cheddar cheese addiction? No. It's pretty mild. Oh, <laughs> what's up now, haters? Right. What's up now? <laughs> that you was think, terrible. You think I'm a fucking <laughs> experienced dad? We talking about? Yeah, you've been around the block. Um, you guys, setting him up. I'm for, so excited for you two to be parents. Thank so, you. Me. It's been but scary. I, I do want to say, Ela, since she's be, been pregnant, she's like, she's like radiant. She's beautiful. Yes. She's like looking good. Yeah. She's eating. Her stuff, like it's incredible. I find it. I'm I'm amazed by it. I truly think it's amazing, and I'm also simultaneously so thankful that I don't have to give birth. Oh. And, and I mean genuinely, <laughs> and I'm so actually Dude, appreciative I to love her. What you've said about how you, there's no way for you to not be kind of resentful. Oh yeah. Don't you hate his guts that you're doing all the work right, right like now? Like, I'm gonna, I'm not even increase. there yet, but I'm already thinking... You're going to hate my guts. I'm going to hate... Sure. Like, there's no way that you can. <laughs> there's, yeah. uh, there's levels of hate that are coming to... <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, the here's, the, here's the neat part. Okay, you're right. Right now, you're doing all the work. Mm-hmm. Nine months, you're going to be enormous. You're mm-hmm. going to gain weight. Your feet are going to grow. Uh, your vision's gonna get worse. Really? Wait, Pits what? Gonna be destroyed. Oh, I, look at I'm wearing glasses now. Your vision yeah. gets worse oh, yeah. from pregnancy. Yeah, of wow. course. What? It's like pressure can like yeah, that fluid in your eyes. Yeah. Does mm-hmm. it get better when you? No, worse. So now <laughs> oh, I just no. went to the eye doctor. It's worse. <laughs> so you, you're, this is gonna be wrecked, right? And you're gonna hate this fuck. So you're gonna hate him. And then you're like up me, at night breastfeeding. <laughs> Huh? You're gonna hate Tom. You're gonna hate Tom Segura <laughs> so much. That'd be great for me. <laughs> yeah, here's but, what happens. Here's what happens. In two years' time, when that little boy or girl is running around and hyperactive and everything, and you see your two-year-old kicked dad in the nuts, <laughs> and then you're It'll like, all "It's all this. yeah," because yeah. now he's getting it. Because now it's daddy, 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 and yeah. play horsey, 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 yeah. and you get all that stuff. So, so it's then it's be awesome. Some time before my reckoning comes. That's right. <laughs> it will. Come. You'll kick in. Yeah. Then daddy will kick in later. But he's a good one, though. There's, yeah. like, shit yeah. dick dads. Mm. You can tell that... Well, we'll see. That remains to be seen, but uh, I am excited. Oh, you guys are going to be great. Yeah. I'm excited. What's I'm your scared. biggest fear? <laughs> the giving birth. Oh, easy. Just take uh, drugs. Yeah. Drugs. That's drugs. what I'm saying. A lot of... I, yeah. I was trying to talk... I'm like, Ela, if it takes an extra couple hours... Yeah. And you don't feel pain... First of all, oh, I well, agree. But go for Definitely. the drugs. Dude, Every drugs, time. drugs, drugs. I felt two contractions on this last one, and I was like, let's go. Drug, <laughs> drug, drug. Right. And I didn't feel like not a now, thing. Now, do they get, mm. is it like mind-altering drugs? It's like an opioid, right? Oh, no, they they put it in your uh, oh, spinal column. Yeah. It's, yeah. So it doesn't oh, affect the child. Crazy. You just you don't, you don't feel it. or anything. No, you get you chill because you're like, I'm not in pain. Yeah. I'm not in anguish. Do and you then, really not feel the pain after it? <laughs> 
not a that's fucking crazy. thing, man. Dude, that's amazing. It's it was so fast. funny. She's uh, <laughs> she's so scared of pain that that like in the months leading up to the delivery, <laughs> we would do checkups. You know, you do more and more yeah. checkups, and then as you get closer, they become weekly checkups. And she would go like. And what is the deal when I get to the <laughs> no, delivery room? No, so my doctor. Yeah, I know. You should be like, and when does the pain meds come? He's like, whenever you want. Yeah. Like, That's right. And you're going to fucking make sure awesome. that the anesthesiologist <laughs> is there. And he'd yeah. be like, yes. Yes. And then it became a routine. Like, she'd walk He's like, it'll be all set up. <laughs> That's gonna... smart. Yeah. And I, and I think you're great because, yeah. I, Ela, you should take a note. I agree. Yeah. Ask your doctor because a lot of bitches out there don't know. There's this. some warrior bitches that want to be like. Well, yeah. But that's the, if you're not into being. My warrior. sister oh. already had that. That's I've, like I've, dad I've, I know. You know what that was a dad <laughs> pop. Well, I'll tell you what. You're really embracing it. it. I've got. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's so terrible. I have so oh much God. mucus from. I had the flu. Yeah, yeah. And it and I and I've coughed so much I can't cough anymore. So we I always create, can't like, hang like, out because I Ila, sit next to him and he'll cough in like my ear. <laughs> last night Ela goes, "You're hurting my ear," and I'm like, I. I'm in pain. I'm suffering. What, what about terrible. me? And so I cannot muster a cough anymore. Like, my body literally cannot Did cough. You, you were really sick then. Yeah, I go to yeah. the doctor. So it's one of these. Because <laughs> you can't cough, but you got to get the mucus out. Oh, it's so disgusting. Sorry, guys. Wait, so what are you saying? Yeah. So, um... Oh, I was saying, you, you got to ask your doc when they're going to give you the, the meds. Because there are some doctors that are evil and won't give a woman the epidural until she's so much dilated or What's whatever. The Okay. They want you to be further along before they, because it can stop contractions. It you can wanna, slow it down. They want to keep mm-hmm. it going. They want to make sure you're progressing enough right. before they give you pain meds, because it can right. slow everything down. Okay. But just and make sure you get someone. How long drugs. did your uh, pregnancies last? Pregnancies? Labor? Like, labor. Oh, labor. I don't know. I don't know what. I didn't know how to say that. Again. Oh. No, no. You nine yeah. months. I know what you mean. Yeah. Nine months. Um, <laughs> like eight, seventeen, eighteen hours, top to bottom. Whoa, whoa. But that's not seventeen, eighteen actively. No, no, no. Take You're that. in the hospital. Yeah. yeah. So first, the fr- my son came on his due date, and like literally, I had contractions at two in the morning. We were at the hospital by what f- five in the morning. And then, but then there's like you know there's long periods mm-hmm. of right. Of you like, dilate. Yeah, it takes dilate. hours to dilate. Mm-hmm. Your they consider that you're in labor. Okay. Right. So your but body like active pushing is opening. Yeah, literally your yeah. cervix is dilating. It has to get to ten so Amazing. that the head can come out. Yeah. Crazy. It's active active bananas. labor for you is an hour and change on the second one. And yeah. So then you go into that's pretty good, right? Where you yeah. where it's go time and yeah. if the baby's about to come and mm-hmm. then. You can, and by the way, there's doctors that won't turn your epidural down so that you don't feel pain during the pushing. Make sure to ask this guy because a lot of them will be like, oh, the epidural wore off. No, it didn't. Uh-huh. They can keep that drip going. Uh-huh. And they tell you to push. You push, 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 and then bang. I mean, if you're lucky, you know, I had my taint cut twice, but other than that, you didn't feel it though. No, you don't feel shit. No. But you don't they like make the your idea. Badge of the, your asshole yeah. one hole. Yeah, yeah that's incredible. pretty gnarly. Yeah. And then yeah, you know what? When that kid grows up and they're old enough to understand, we need to be like, listen, if they're b- misbehaving, listen, you little shit. Yeah. Yeah. Your mom's asshole and they're vagina. Don't was... care. They're, yeah. they're I'll they're make care. them care. I'll take pictures. I remember the uh, like, after the you. first one. <laughs> fuck you, mom. <laughs> the doctor was fuck like, your vagina. Remember the doctor was like, oh shit. Yeah, I got to check here. Make sure. Can you? No, she Dude. goes, do you mind if I put my finger yeah. in your anus to make sure there's two holes? What? I was Sorry. like, um, I'd mind if you didn't. Because <laughs> she was sewing me up. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. And she goes, do you mind if I put I'm my finger in your anus? I forgot it was like Put your that. fucking leg in there. I don't feel anything. <laughs> yeah. I don't care. You uh, should take a picture. That's an amazing That would be a crazy question. thing. But make it, like, super close so no one can tell what it is. No. And then you hang oh that, God. You hang that in, the in the kid's room. room. <laughs> yeah, and you're like, <laughs> every fucking time. Hey, <laughs> What do I think? Yeah. Uh, that, there's supposed to be two holes right there. Yeah. So are you feeling super That'd... resentful already of, of your body? And of... I'm more like, think I'm I'm knowing, I know that it's coming, those feelings. Yeah. I'm you not feel feeling the it, resentment yeah. coming? Uh, I get I get little <laughs> tastes of resentment, I think. It's like little shadows of resentment now. Yeah. You know, it comes out little subtle ways. Like, uh, yeah. <laughs> we're just hanging in bed, and then she just looks at me like, Mother, <laughs> you fucking. And I'm like, oh, are you all right? And she's like, yeah, everything's fine. <laughs> you know, I already can't fit in my it's, clothes. It's that she can yeah. see the wave way out there. You know, it's like <laughs> slowly. <laughs> yeah, but I think, see, he's gonna be good because he adores you, and you could tell. Yeah, it, there's a lot yeah. of guys that aren't like he adores. So. You're going to feel the resentment, but you're going to be able to navigate. I feel like somehow that makes her angry sometimes when I'm like, you're amazing. I can't believe you're having this baby. Yeah, it's yeah. incredible. And she's like, 
She's like, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> They're like that. Sometimes you They're just like can't that. win. They're like that. Yeah. They're like, you know, stop. Yeah. There were times, too, where I'm like, I just don't know what, to, like, you go, I just don't know what to say. And then, like, you figure out, like, I, I, there's nothing I can say. Nothing. You just got to shut the fuck up. Yeah, that's yeah. something you learn in marriage, in <laughs> yeah. a sense, with them. Yeah. <laughs> because them. sometimes, because it's like, I said everything right, I did everything right, and you're, and what, what can I tell you? And Ela's just like, just leave, just leave me alone. Yeah. Sometimes there's, I just wake up in a bad mood. So, so you have this thing where. Sometimes I just wake up like that. Yeah, wrong side of the bed, that's what they call it. Okay. But you, so when you get mad or irritated, I can't. I always feel like you're mad at me, right? Because when not. I get when I get upset, I have the same issue. You what are you talking yes. about? When <laughs> you're upset, like, like exactly just, what he said. If I just wake so, but up you don't in know. a bad mood, <clears throat> you'll think that I'm upset at him, and I'm like, I'm not. You know? I think because I think we just and we experience that feeling differently. Because when I'm upset, I I treat you like my ally intentionally because I don't want you to feel that I'm mad at you. Mm-hmm. But I, that's just that's, that's very interesting. That's just um, <laughs> psychologically, that's fascinating. But I know you're not yeah. mad at me, so mm-hmm. you know. Yeah, yeah but saying, I, I, I see. I do the same thing. What do you do? So I, so I understand what you're saying. When you're upset, yeah, I uh, whatever you're upset at, I'm like, oh man, she's upset. I should stay away. Mm. I think she might uh, might be upset at me. I don't know if you're upset oh, at me or but... you're upset, but then. What I'll do is I think it's good to leave you alone. Oh my God, it's right? the worst thing ever. Don't is leave it? me alone. Because I, I, I think it with, is. In Ela's case, she doesn't want to fucking see me. <laughs> and, I, and I know that now. Because I'm like, Ela, what's wrong? And, and she doesn't want to fucking see me. <laughs> and I'm like, all right. But that's how she processes. And it's like, I just need my coffee. It's just oh. something like that, yeah. you know? She and I, and like the coffee machine is dirty and I got to clean it. And like I just woke up. Yeah, it's something like that. Like I just don't even want to say. <clears throat> but you want to be asked. Yeah. See, the thing is, that's, that's what I've learned. It took but Ela, it's uh, counterintuitive <laughs> with Ela. She actually doesn't want to fucking see me. Yeah. But anyway. No, I, I understand. But some people process stuff differently. Yeah. So she uh, might need that time to do her coffee and get mm-hmm. collect herself. Yeah. And maybe you're more of an introvert with that stuff. Yeah, I think I'm like that when I'm upset. Oh, you're the worst. Really? You're you're avoidant. <laughs> Are you the worst? Oh, so, so look, I, I want to get in your mind oh. a little bit to understand this emotion because oh. I don't understand it with Ela kind of because I, mm. I don't feel that way. So you're upset at not Christina, obviously right. something completely different. Yeah. And so <laughs> you're just in a bad mood mm-hmm. and somehow that negative energy is just directed to whatever is in front of you. Yeah, yeah. probably, yeah. Because yeah. he'll get mad at like... Why are there stains on the couch? And then I'll be like, I don't fuck. It. But right. it's—I feel like that's directed towards but it's me. Not. It's but definitely it's definitely not. I know, but I right. know that rationally. Yeah. But then it, it agitates me. Right. I'm like, ah, fuck. He's mad about something exactly. else. Exactly. I gotta figure out. We've got out. the reverse. I think <laughs> we're totally reverse. Yeah. yeah. But then you'll also do because you know too much psychology. You'll be like, <laughs> fucking stains on the couch, and you'll be like, what do you, well, she'll be like, yeah. what are you really mad at? I'm like, these goddamn stains. Yeah. And then she's like, let's talk about it. I'm yeah. like, the stains are not going away. <laughs> I don't know. See, but That's... where I'm real direct, I'm like, we have two dogs. One's a shelter dog, one's a purebred. The shelter dog can live without the other one. The purebred is a lovey machine. Mm. I always say I'm like that purebred lovey machine. Mm. Bitsy. I love you. What are you doing? Let's talk. Let's talk. <laughs> Let's talk. I want to touch you. I want to touch you. And then you're like FIFA. We're like, oh, you know, whatever. Do my thing. So when I'm upset, though, I'm saying I like to have you there next to me. Me like too. to have the Let's support. continue this. Let's, that, we, yeah. let's go to a break. We're over. Okay. T- uh, we're going to continue this conversation. We've got a, we are just at the tip of the <laughs> iceberg here. We're psychologically <laughs> breaking it down. Guys, do not go away. We will be right back. <laughs> Quip, all right? What do I need to say about this beautiful, magical, mythical toothbrush that is changing the game of dental hygiene? One of the most important things we can do for our health every day is brushing our teeth. Yet most of us aren't doing it properly, and you're walking around like you just had a turd sandwich. Quip is a better electric toothbrush created by dentists and designers to make brushing your teeth more simple, affordable, and dare I say this, Ela? Fun and enjoyable. Uh, yeah, it's that good. Uh, this, okay, here, let me tell you about, first of all, I have sensitive gums, as most of us do. And gums, mm-hmm. they do not heal back. You need to find soft, correct bristles that are not going to corrode your gums because you're, it's not coming back. 
All right. That's what this is. It's soft. It's rubbery. It's the best head I've ever found. And no offense, Ela. It- <laughs> Uh, (laughs) uh, gentle enough on your sensitive guns people brush too hard and some electric toothbrushes are way too abrasive it's got a built in timer that's what this is and every 30 seconds it reminds you to switch sides helping guide a full and even clean up to 90% of us don't brush for two full minutes and don't even clean evenly that's what Quip helps you achieve alright so that's why I love Quip that's why I don't use any other toothbrush. I love Quip. And that's why it's backed by 20,000 dental professionals. That's a lot of dentists. Quip starts at just $25. Guys, go to getquip.com slash H3 right now. You get your first refill back for free with a Quip electric toothbrush. That's your first refill back free at getquip.com slash H3. There's a lot of problems online. When you're working or you're at work, if you work for somebody or your own boss, there's so many great softwares out there to help you fix the problems you have and you don't even know they're out there. Well, Captera, that's why they're here, to help you find the exact perfect software for the perfect fix to the problem that is going to make your life a thousand times easier. You can download their big book of free software for free at captera.com slash h3. They are a free resource to help you find that perfect, beautiful software. They've got over 300 different software tools. And again, their big book of free software can help you find a completely free tool to test today and it is absolutely free it will not cost a penny so if you're looking for a new project management tool recruiting software or even email marketing solutions captera's big book of free software has got something for you so head on over to captera.com h3 today to get that big old book of free software <laughs> that's captera c-a-p-t-e-r-r-a dot com slash h3 captera.com slash h3 Ring is the product that is so brilliant, so revolutionary, it sells itself. Now, let me give you a personal anecdote. We live in Los Angeles, and there's been a lot of break-ins in general in the Los Angeles area. And I think that what deters people more than anything is seeing a ring. Now, if you see, they've got, it's a, first of all, it's a doorbell that has a motion sensor. So when somebody approaches the door, it sends you a mobile notification and it saves the video and immediately uploads it to the cloud. Mm -hmm. So we've got one at the doorbell and then we've got security cameras, floodlights that instantly activate and blast with light and record the same way all around the house. So in a sense, there's almost no way to approach the house without us being notified and then Mm -hmm. checking the video doesn't matter like even alarm systems can fail you if you don't have a shatterproof uh, a shatter detector they could break it through the window and leave without even being seen motion detectors they'll go off even if your alarm goes off the police aren't going to arrive for another 30 minutes because they're trying to call you a bunch of times with ring you see everything that's going on there's no surprise and you could call the police immediately besides that Somebody's stealing packages. Some cutie's coming and leaving you a love note. You want to know who it was? You know everything that's going around your house. This product is changing the world. I love it. Now, as a listener, you have a special offer on Ring Starter Kit available right now with a video doorbell and motion-activated floodlight cam. The Starter Kit has everything you need to build a ring of security around your home. So... Go to ring.com slash H3. That is ring.com slash H3. I'm telling you, this is a revolutionary product. I am so happy that we've got it in our home. 23andMe is a beautiful, easy-to-use, fascinating service that analyzes your DNA from you simply spitting in a little tube, send it off, and two weeks later, you learn all this interesting stuff about yourself and your family. For example, you're going to learn where you're from. And that's and for me, this is one of the most interesting things, because over the last thousand years, you it's so interesting to see where all these people come from. It's all there in your spit. (laughs) Um, Discover how much Neanderthal DNA you have. You can also connect with relatives and find other customers who share your DNA with other ancestors. And this Thanksgiving, there's no better thing to do than sit around with your family 
get all the DNA testing, and you can finally blame all your shortcomings and everything wrong in your life on your parents. And and it turns out none of that stuff is your fault at all, including FUPA size. You can literally blame blame your parents, your genetics on FUPA size. So there you have it. Now through Thanksgiving, twenty three me. 23andMe Ancestry Service Kits are only $49 per kit. When you buy two or more kits, that's 50% off the regular kit price of $99 this holiday. Order your 23andMe Ancestry Service Kit at 23andMe.com slash H3. That's the numbers, 23andMe.com slash H3. Welcome back to the H three podcast. All right, <laughs> with us is the wonderful Tom Scora, Christina Hello. P. Hello. Pleasure to be here. Hey. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Um, we were talking about all kinds of things, uh, but you know, I couples also, therapy. Couples therapy. <laughs> I did actually. Uh, I did start therapy recently. <gasps> yep. Oh, I love it. <laughs> and it's been nice been good yeah it's only been like five sessions but you like it yeah you find it uh beneficial well the thing about it is that <coughs> oh, where's that cough it's very much i know gosh he dad coughed in i the gotta talk to him about, yeah. <laughs> yeah. oh it's everywhere um <laughs> it, it, yeah i start thinking about things that it, like i never thought it just puts everything in perspective you know um the stain is very much not the stain you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. as you as mm-hmm. you say. But it's been good. It's been good for me. <laughs> good. Yeah. I'm glad. Yeah, thank you, by the yeah, way. Yeah, of course. I don't know how people don't see therapists, honestly. Like, how do you not? I'm just it's so helpful. I I'm think still if... not. But I do want to. Go for it. Especially having a kid. I'll tell you, it. having children is very healing on, on one hand, and then it dredges up a lot of other sure. stuff on the yeah. other yeah. hand. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm kind of worried about, too. I don't want all this damage. <laughs> to pass on to the kids, so I yes. want to figure it out. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's a very beforehand. Yes, yeah, it's good. To and get also, into I it. just don't want to be insane all the time, too. Yes, which affects the kid. Sure. Yeah. Right. Um. But uh. But I do. I know you guys are, um, uh, Garth Brooks fans. Yes. I love Garth Brooks. He's such an interesting <laughs> character, is he not? I mean, what's hashtag going on? H3. <laughs> yeah. Hashtag H three. Hashtag Hashtag YMH. Yeah. Hashtag they're together. You're it. You're Hashtag you're it. Mr. Yearwood. Um, I can't. I can't. <laughs> what is with him? Well, yeah. first, for all of our viewers, let's first watch Garth Brooks to give you all a little taste. And oh, then we I can kind of try to get inside his head because <laughs> Garth Brooks, I don't understand what's going on. I, I can't I'll get a read on this, too. I think it's important because <laughs> we talk about it when we talk about him. Mm-hmm. It's important uh. for people not in the know because it's fair that there's different genres and you don't know who knows what to recognize how inconceivably famous this guy is dude mm-hmm. it is out of this world it's bonkers i think and i may be wrong but last time we were talking about him on the show yeah he's like the number two or maybe even number one best-selling artist. solo artist yeah, yeah. in america yeah, yeah 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 what Easily. yeah like here's the thing he I don't even know one song of his. like the big <laughs> pop one. stars of today <laughs> you know bruno mars beyonce like yeah. who are he is doing stadiums like where fucking football games are played and they sell out under an hour. He's a thumb with a cowboy hat. <laughs> yep. Yeah. yeah. It's other level. But you know that he was I saw a thing of him on Ellen and he uh he put out like an anthology thing, mm. like just released one mm-hmm. and it was like this and even she goes, "Jesus Christ." She goes, "This is volume 1. Like there's going to be more." He's like, "I think so." <laughs> and he's like, "Most people release these when they're dead. That's no fun." Yeah. Like he just puts out Wait, crazy content. Did Ellen say Christ? Jesus Christ? He goes, "You fucking hillbilly fuck." <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't curse, no, right? Like, does. slapped him in the face and yeah. spit in his eye. Yeah, like, you like, fucking you monster. Fuck suck now. <laughs> yeah. She doesn't no. curse. No, no, she didn't say it like that. We could that. talk about I, Ellen too cuz I find her her fascinating as well, but let's also super famous. Let's, yeah, I think it yeah. really fucks with you to be that famous. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. I think so too. But, but Garth, here's why we find him fascinating mm-hmm. because look, I, and no one's disputing that he's very talented and he's very successful. We're not dumping on this guy for that, mm-hmm. but it's that there's something that doesn't read. Like, I don't <laughs> understand the man. Yeah, right. Something's and not you, adding up. You know what it is? It's like if you go, what's Ethan like? What's Hila like? What's Christina like? And you go, this is kind of their personality. Mm-hmm. But with him, it feels like 
a manufactured personality mm-hmm. in the social media posts. Yeah. It always yeah. feels like <laughs> he's saying the yes. right thing at the right time. Which is weird. And it feels that reads to a lot of people as inauthentic. Yeah. So I'm not saying that he like, necessarily is, Ethan but he reads like that. Asking me if if he's just like a. How did you <laughs> if say? he's euphoric. Is, is, he, is he a euphoric I, is he happy great? person? Is he like, an, like, yeah, is he just euphoric? And I said, do I don't think so. I think he's a creep. You I think <laughs> because the way he's in the videos, he's just like, thank God, thank God for my life. Like he's just yeah. this euphoric guy. Like maybe that's just who he is. I think if maybe with that's you. just who I am. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Now, I like that. I yeah. want world peace. I think what happens too is like yeah, you do these three hour plus shows mm-hmm. to eighty hundred thousand people screaming, mm-hmm. and everyone's like, "You're the great." Like that mm-hmm. many people, you're you're the savior. You are you're the best. Yeah. That he walks around like you know. Like I like that. that. Yeah, I really like that. <laughs> yeah. Well, for like, context, everyone watching, let's like let's that. enjoy some yes. of the recent highlights um, of the beautiful and wonderful a uh, national treasure, if you will, Garth Brooks. <laughs> Here we go. Lives. And my dream is for us to love one another, all of us. Ugh. See now he that. leans in. All of us. Right. It's very uh, right. because borderline that almost like if you took the words out, saying that is like. I'd like to fuck you in the ass hard tonight. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's like a weird sexual tag. What, isn't that he's saying <laughs> that his wish for, what was that? What was the beginning world of that? World peace. Yeah. My but wish is world peace. All of us to love each other. I know, but yeah. the wish, but it's like for this Christmas? Yeah, it's, wish, it's one, of the, like, the... one of those things. It's like, what's your wish? And he's like, well, my wish is for world peace. All of us. Yeah, see, no, first of all, whenever someone's like, what's your wish? You know, what do you, you're in, world peace. No, no, Come you're on, not. you're not. Yeah. 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 Only in a beauty you, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Exactly. What no is, way. See, that's the real question. What is Garth's no. wish? Well, he has everything. What is Garth's wish? I, I, ah. he doesn't know. By the way, I've seen him wear this shirt, this Nike shirt, in multiple huh. um, press outings. Which makes me also Very think that he's like, it's kind of, this is what people wear, t-shirts. Mm. <laughs> you know? Nike. Like, yeah, it's you like heard of the brand Nike? <laughs> Nike? <laughs> That's what it is, Tommy. I think you've, yeah. hit, you, you've hit on it. He's it's, pretending. He's pretending to be a person. Because he's actually like a billionaire. Dude, yeah. yes, this mm-hmm. stadium and, tour he's going to do right now, right. no shit, he's going to earn like $400 million. Easy. And the thing dude. is... Yeah. That that's crazy. Country music is all about. I'm just yes. an average yes. Joe. Yes. I fuck my cousin, but that's yes. okay. The Yankees don't <laughs> like it, but we think it's all right. Yes. yes. And so that's actually one he's of not that guy. Yeah. And yeah. it's right. all yeah. about yeah. it's all about still being. I'm keeping it real, yeah. Yeah. and I'm just a down. I'm I'm just one of y'all. Shucks. Yeah. It's like yeah. no, you're not. You not have anymore. a private jet. But yeah, that's, that's the thing is that it's got, it's all about. I'm just like y'all. All this money bullshit don't mean nothing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and yeah. Listen, sure. I may yeah. listen. I may have a jet stream five yeah but all this money shit don't mean nothing when you can't fuck your cousin yeah exactly <laughs> all right let's watch this have some fun and let's get physical playing music i like that thought <laughs> like he holds it too long oh i love this thank you for my life god bless you guys I love that. Thank you for my I life. I love this. Thank you for my life. God bless you guys. Mm. Thank you. Instagram, it's on. Hashtag Ask Garth. Ask me anything, okay? Hashtag happy. Hashtag Garth. That's my hashtag favorite. Hashtag Mr. Yearwood. Oh, hashtag you're it. <laughs> what do you mean I'm it? What do you mean I'm it? Hey, Tommy, this guy. Hey, if you have to ask, <laughs> hashtag you're it. You're not it. See, the, uh, almost like he's making it rain. Hashtag. <laughs> Do you think? Uh, do you you're think you're that those four second <laughs> stares at the end of videos are because he's told somebody like, like at, when, when I'm done, I smile. You let that shit fucking roll, so they know. No, I'm no, a nice guy. he doesn't know or, he can be relaxed. Or, but do you think he's like, at the when I'm done talking, you'll know I'm fucking done when I smile, <laughs> and then just let it roll. People like when I smile, and they're like, all right, and then he's just. <laughs> I think what it is is like they finally he's a little off. too old school. Yeah, and he's posing for a photo with for his aunt. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and he just holds it. Jeez, and also what's disingenuous about the smile? Because real smiles, your face lights up. Mm-hmm. The eye, yeah. it's in the eyes. The smile is always in the eyes. Yeah, and the smile doesn't match the eyes. Right. So it's just the two, like a three year old. And then they tell you to smile the picture. Yeah, mm-hmm. like fucking John Wayne Gacy when right. he smiled. <laughs> yeah. Also, just look at his face. I mean, he's yeah. such a dang dingus. <laughs> He's like a human hot dog. He does. Well, his skin's very nice. He's a nice real, though. he's a fucking official dad. Yes. Know? Like, he could be yes. on the dad front page mm-hmm. of Dad Weekly. What's the big the, dad stadium. What's yeah. the daughter of your cousin called? The daughter of your cousin? Yeah. What? 
if you have a cousin, they have yeah. a dumb. Oh, well, I'm waiting child. for the punchline. Oh. I thought you had a dumb joke. No, I was yeah. setting it up. Oh. Oh, I was just trying to set up a country song where, just because my daughter is my second cousin, don't, mal- yeah, don't mean I love her any less. <laughs> I'm trying to write some tunes. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Hit me with the. Uh, uh, do it, Elon. Too. You weren't ready. All right, here we go. <laughs> uh, a little, uh, yeah. a little slow. All right. Come on. Ooh, that resentment is kicking in. I love it. I got to tell you one more time. Remind me. A fucking crickets thing that's brutal. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I love that. <laughs> I like that. I really like that. Hashtag I like that. I want to watch that one again because it's really su- like we've that. watched it on this podcast, but yeah. it's such a fucking masterpiece. Yeah. <laughs> that is one of my favorite videos. Oh, the I Facebook like one. Yeah. yeah. Well, really I like guess that. it's official. We're on Facebook. <laughs> yeah. We're tearing down but the see, walls. You, you realize. You, and me. <laughs> you know what's happening, though, is that this is picking up steam now on Twitter. That Garth Brooks's feed is weird. Like, this yeah. is, we're starting a wave, you guys. It's just... You know, he's going to, he's not going to understand. He's like, I gained 20 million followers yeah. this week. Yeah. And he's going to be like, well, I'm fucking Garth Brooks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, be like, yeah. no, no, no. But it's like 19 million people yeah. that want to see you be weird. It's all millennials. I want to see Tim and Eric make an episode oh. with Garth Brooks like they did with Tommy <laughs> Wiseau, you know? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's that enjoy be... this human yes. uh, hot dog. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just a blaring on a radio, blaring on a radio, blaring on a radio, blaring on a radio. Oh. Is this Vic Burger's cut? No. Uh, no. Today is the day celebrating it's Queen's birthday, so I'm taking over all our socials, asking you to post hashtag Happy Birthday Trisha. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, can I ask this question too? Why on Trisha's birthday is he taking <laughs> over? <laughs> I know. Ask me how I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but why is he taking over Trisha's socials for her birthday? It's like, mm. if, how is that a present? It's a gift. Yeah, what's yeah, the don't gift? See that. The gift is <laughs> yeah. that I'm the best and yeah. you're not. You could I'm going to take over. You could have made a post on your own social and be like, send her some love. R- right. He's like, he's like, you know what? I'm not going to shit post on my own social page. Yeah. I'm going to do it on yours. Right. Why so that when you... her fans open, they're like, oh, thank God, it's Garth. This is awesome. Thank God. Yeah. yeah. Hashtag. I'm Mr. Mr. I'm Mr. Mr. Yearwood, Yearwood today. Oh, what is boy. Yearwood? That's her last That's name. That's her last name. So oh. what he's doing is oh. doing this condescending thing of like, I'm the mega star. She's down here. But I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm so humble. I'm down home. Yeah. Just today. <laughs> Just today. <laughs> Just today. Hi, <laughs> Mr. Yearwood. <laughs> yeah, and here's watch? the thing, man. It's like that, um, I love my that post is a... Uh, what is that? That's a perfect husband post. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because it's like from the beginning, it's like, I love her so much. Yeah. And show her how much you love her, too. Just put pictures of cakes and tag her. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, so if you watch that, you're like, oh, this guy is just this normal, sweet guy. He just yeah. loves his wife. That's bullshit. What does it's he do so for a hobby? That's what I wonder. Ela thinks. Ela has suspicion. Amazing, that. authentic, and transparent is what they tag that as. <laughs> <laughs> but look at the thumbnail alone. It's like, whoa, smoke scar. So let's, let's just enjoy but, it. And, the, and this one, too, is like pay attention to those odd <laughs> voice, like, octave changes. Right. They're, yeah. They're so, they're so deliberate, and the choice <laughs> to do them, they're deliberate, and they don't line up. Like what? Why you would go? I like well, that. I really so, like that. Yeah, I really like that. Yeah. But the thing about this, <laughs> it reads so gross. Hey, um, I really like that. Yeah. But the thing about this is that it's so rehearsed. It's like yes. It's like uh, beat for beat. Like yeah. I feel like this is take one hundred. Oh yeah. yeah, and he sent it to an assistant and goes, "Just finish this gold. Fucking post it right now, shithead." Mm-hmm. And then the guy was like, "All right, mm-hmm. put that up." Garth said to put it up right there now. There was a very telling moment. <laughs> G said to put it up mm-hmm. when he was reporting to us from Studio G. Mm-hmm. Oh, and I know what you're going to talk. Yeah, about. and he was doing his you know spontaneous Garth thing, <clears throat> and then the door opens suddenly, and he's like, "Is that supposed to happen?" And you can see the rage behind his eyes. And really? what it is, is it's his yeah. birthday, and they're surprising him with a cake. Oh, really? But for us, it's a oh, fraction of a whoa. second. Oh. <laughs> it was you inside Studio G. <laughs> and yeah. You yeah. see the rage behind whoa. his eyes. He's like, he's like, and make sure I'll, I'll be up there for y'all. I'll be singing my songs. And then he goes, is that supposed to happen? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like murders. Yes. Yeah. yeah, he does. And then he see, he's like, oh, yeah. happy birthday to G. <laughs> they love he says you. it to himself. <laughs> happy birthday to G. What? Yeah, he refers to himself. Wow. <clears throat> yeah, that's on on that's on a Facebook Studio G post. Yeah. Um, inside Studio G. <laughs> Remember that Can one? We where find that moment. He was is it boring. Uh, it is. Yeah, yes, it's, it's on his Facebook. <laughs> I want to see it when he's uh, when he's giving you backstage. He does like a G alert, and he does. Uh, 
he he's like, hey, look at all this. Uh, like it was rehearsal sound check. And he's telling you how, like, everybody, they come to my show, sometimes they're like, look at that guy, look at that guy, it's so yeah. neat, watching everybody else work, like, trying to give credit mm, to, like, yeah. the lighting guy. It's so neat. Yeah, and then he goes, uh, <laughs> he goes, hey, Dave, turn that down. Dave, <laughs> Dave, yeah. turn it down. And you can see Dave's like, oh, my life's about to end. Like, he's so scared. <laughs> <laughs> I love how he switches off. Yeah. yeah. That. So, okay. See, but that's he's who the real guy. guy. Yeah, dude. Could I bet be? he's a... I really like that. He is a... Uh, Control. <laughs> He's a dictator, is the way I think he is. This yeah. is a guy whose music never ended up on iTunes. Mm. He had an exclusive deal with Walmart. That means he's business savvy, but mm -hmm. he's also right. really in control. Right. Like he's mm. really calling shots. And also, let's talk about his alter ego, Chris Gaines. <laughs> oh, dude, yeah. this guy is a, a gold mine. It's just bizarre. Yeah, Chris it's... Gaines is one of the weirdest things that yeah. ever happened. It's one of the weirdest things that ever happened for people that don't know. He got so famous and bored being Garth yeah. <laughs> that he created an Australian, I think, alter ego. That's very whose weird. Parents Emo. died. Let me th uh, throw up. But a here's photo. the other thing: Go, oh. the savagery of this. Wait, we have a photo. Is that Chris was almost wiped Dude. entirely Dude. from the internet? Do you know how hard it is to do it's that? Damn near, it's impossible. I mean, isn't it? is did he Look really? I mean, there there's is. very little out there. He's huh. coming back because you know? people are talking about Chris Gaines. Dude, he this whole kind of Garth Brooks. Meme that's brewing is gonna be something new <laughs> for him I can't wait. because you cannot what if fight this, against meme warfare. No. What if it went like <laughs> this you guys for a while? That. Yeah, and then it, like it built, it built, it pissed him off, and then they were like, "Guess what? Garth Brooks has ten bodies buried on his fucking land." Like he that would make sense. Yeah, he's that been that would make sense. He talked about that when he did Chris Gaines uh, photo shoots. He would suck his cheeks in because Chris wasn't supposed to be as big as Garth. So, <laughs> so that's why he's like, Is that right? Mm -hmm. See, you can see he's doing yes, it. Yes, yes. He looks like a vampire. That's I think awesome. he looks cute as Chris Gaines. I'm, I'm digging Chris Gaines, actually. <laughs> he's kind of goth and kind of hot. It's cool. <laughs> it is an odd choice, though, right? To be it's, so... It's, it's essentially like... I've never <laughs> seen anything like that. Right, like the biggest star in music being like, I'm done. I'm going to do this you whole thing. You realize, too, because I was so reading weird. so much Garth stuff that... When he did this, you know, no one could talk him out of it, right? They were Clearly, like, you think his manager were gonna like, talk him out of this? Don't do this, and he was like, "I'm Chris Gay, I'm doing it." And <laughs> yeah. then they're like, "It did poorly, obviously. Like it, it was a well, disaster. It was a disaster." But still, just people knowing that it was him doing it, I think I want to say it moved so somewhere <laughs> close to a million still. So that what? that's still like. That's a huge... Yeah, yeah, but he was like, yeah. I'm going to sell 25 million, I'm sure, just what I do, man. Oh, yeah. And then they were like, oh, it only sold a million. Yeah. He was like, oh, that sucks. But I I'll think it's up. part of that crazy. that insane uh, ego egoism where he's like, I'm going to go make pop music and be an emo singer? Yeah. And succeed at that? I just looked it up, his Chris Gaines album went double platinum. Double <laughs> Wow. Yep. And it's considered a tremendous failure. Yeah. <laughs> That's how successful that guy's used to being. I guess, well, oh actually, I remember reading, and correct me if I'm wrong, they had, like, this huge release, and they bought tons of albums, and it was filling all the music stores, and, well, he did sell a lot. There was a yeah. lot. A little of bit of overstock? There. Yeah, overstock, yeah. for sure. <laughs> um, yeah. Sorry, I'm marveling. No, I'm just reeling. I'm also thinking of rock stars... I'm sorry, actors that become rock stars. It's like I'm that's not. A, that's a lame. I'm too. really successful in this thing. Let's fuck that up by trying. Has that ever worked? Thing. By the way, let's Has list that them. Ever not been corny. Let's list who we can think of. Yeah, mm. Juliette Lewis is doing it right. She now. does that. Yeah, she's in a rock band. And she's like actively she's actually still touring. Kind of yeah. great though. I think she does. Bruce Willis did. Bruce Willis it. did oh, it. Really? Oh yeah. Oh, you got to mm -hmm. see that. Keanu. Keanu. He did. Yes. There uh, was, Depp. Uh, Johnny Depp did it what? too. Very actively did it. The greatest of all time, Seagal. Of course. Plays. Oh my uh, God, I didn't know. Oh, what? Stiller. Okay. Yeah. This is really uh, something. There was one Billy Bob Thornton. I don't know if you guys recall. He was very serious about that. Okay. There's uh, another one. He went hmm. on a late night show. I recall, and they were, and he was like, "I'm only here to talk about my music." <laughs> and it was super awkward. <laughs> yeah. um, I love this so much. Eddie Murphy. Uh, Eddie, Eddie Murphy. Murphy. Really, and that guy has an amazing voice, but somehow it was just the corniest thing ever. It's Everything true. Put out huh. was just awful. And he was like, "I don't want to." He even he joined Twitter. I want to say he joined Twitter. To put out a music video, <laughs> yeah. yeah, and people were like that. He was just like, "I'm <coughs> thinking about my album." Yeah. Now I will say the person, the one person I can think of who it really worked for was Donald Glover. Oh, that's true. He's childish super, Gambino. Yeah. That is oh, true. See, Drake. Okay. Dra I thought Drake he was, was an actor. Mm -hmm. Oh, was he? Was he was an actor yeah. before, but this this is like. 
Donald Glover can actually really do all those things. He's at a so high talented. Level. Mm, yeah, you know he can. He's really good at it. So I think some of the other guys. We're talking like fifteen plus years of being a movie star. Yeah. Like you're a household name, That's and they're what like, you do. "I yeah. sing, bro." Yeah, you're like, no, we'll see you sing, man. Yeah, we'll see you shoot <laughs> shit. I want to ask you guys about a story here. Sure. I don't know what to make of it. It's one of the most bizarre things. Yeah. Um, so let me let me start here. Okay, there was a teacher who was in a hot water after getting into a fist fight with a 14-year-old student. <laughs> after the student berated him, calling him the N-word and throwing a basketball at him. Jesus. Hmm. So now there's a video. There's a video of this? <laughs> now, this is what's so crazy to me. Let, let me show you the video first, and then I'll tell you about the aftermath, which is really what's uh, perplexing to me. So l- let's enjoy this uh, riot what? in our American school system. And actually, I'll skip forward to where the good stuff happens. You can tell this kid's a little piece of shit. Wait, first of all, yeah. At this point, it is st- it is b- <laughs> insane that for me that a, a student is like <laughs> just like in front of the class saying this shit to a yeah. teacher. I don't know yeah. what leads to this, <laughs> but it's crazy to watch. Well, apparently the backstory is that this teacher was beloved by the school, uh-huh. and he is meant he has seemed to be a very calm, nice guy. Right, but I guess something just snaps in him in this moment, as you'll see. But this kid's like, he's I mean, a piece of shit, I mean, and he's yeah. trying to get under him, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, like... yeah. And I think they have a history together okay. as well. <laughs> These schools are rough, though. Like, Oh, so he, that's a pretty. Uh, oh that's serious stuff. <laughs> oh shit! He's throwing him out. Yeah. Oh shit! Yeah, he, he broke him, man. Yeah. He broke him. So, I mean, it's obviously not okay at all, but I I think that kid. He's probably been doing that for a while. Man. Yeah. That's yeah. fucking crazy, though. It's crazy to see. He really goes after him, too. I mean, just one punch. Well, that's a grown ass man. <laughs> but now here he acts like he doesn't remember what happened. Oh, yeah. Now he's. Now he's panicking. Yeah, he's panicking. Yeah, and he's, pl- he's playing. Uh, he was like, who hit me? What happened? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that was, a, that was no. an act. He's so, smart. And we, <laughs> we missed it just prior to where you started. It was when uh, he had a basketball, the kid, oh, and he, yeah, he threw it at him. What? Oh, yeah, so he, he actually God. did instigate where? the physical well, aspect of it. Did I miss it then? Maybe it's when it's still vertical or okay, something. Well, we're go- okay, well, oh, oh, there, there it is. was. There you go. Okay. Hang on, what? we got basketball. So the kid throws the basketball at the teacher. Yeah. So, <clears throat> so here's the part where it gets really surprising, okay? Well, what, what do you... Uh, I feel bad for everybody. Yeah. It's a rough yeah. school. I'm sure that kid's where, where home is life. Where it's is in it? L.A. It's here in L.A.? I think that's what I read. Oh, Portola Junior High. I went there. He's a music teacher of all things. Yeah. You went there? No, I'm not kidding. <laughs> yeah. I went to... But I did go to a public school, or two of them, in L.A., and they're pretty horrible. Yeah. The ones I went to, anyways. That's pretty much some shit that happens. Yeah, you can <laughs> like, see some really bad homes, and it's hard. I don't know how to deal with a kid like that, you know? But regardless, so now uh, opinions are deeply divided. Yeah. Um, and here, this is the part that blew me away. This guy is, pro- I mean, he's definitely going to be fired, right? Yeah. And he's definitely yes. going to. I think so. But then now there's a GoFundMe for this guy. Damn. He raised $150,000. God. And I was like, holy shit. Like, what does it say like, here? This is, is that him? Yeah. This is him yeah. saying, hey, this they one's were, real. I just want you all to know. This is Wiley, and I'm letting you know that this GoFundMe page is legit. 
I want yeah, to that's think. about it. Where's Maywood? <coughs> Maywood Academy High School. Oh, he was he was sent to jail. Okay. Really? Oh, oh, here you yeah. Go. He assaulted a child. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where does it say that? Uh, it said those oh, who many of you have seen the video. Yeah. I will not post here. Yeah. And sadly, he was handcuffed and sent to jail, which uh, does make sense, kind yeah. of. I mean. Kind of. I mean, he assaulted. He beat. A kid. He beat the shit out of him. Can't really yeah. do that. Yeah. Like yeah. if he threw one punch, I'd be like, oh, uh, he was threatened. But then he's like, beat the shit no. out. Of him. Yeah. Hey, listen. I understand kids trigger the shit out of you, but the, you can't hit him. No. Just, so that's no. He really and he he went after that kid. Fuck is Maywood. And started beating on him like he. <laughs> so he it's did South it like, LA. Oh. It's what? Okay. South LA. South, South LA. Yeah. By Bell. <laughs> it's uh-huh. um, I mean, I think everyone relates to that teacher's. Feeling, sure, hundred percent. Right. But you just—I mean, if you're the you teacher, can't, you, you can't, can't do that. That's what another student do. would no, do. Can't, exactly. Yeah. You know? And so I was like, "Wow, that you know, I feel bad for everybody." But then when I saw that they had raised one hundred and fifty thousand, that blew me away. I was like, "Who yeah. is uh, oh, what? what happened to the kid? Anything happened to the kid? <laughs> kid get in any trouble?" I, or there's or? no news. It's just Mr. Riley is. Uh... They did. They did actually expel the kid. Okay. They did. Yeah. Well, they, but not like per- they're they're transferring him to a different school to like <laughs> try and cut down on the drama, basically. I mean, look, this thing is popping off. Five, one hundred. This is three minutes ago. Yeah, 45, 50. it really is. God crazy. damn. So there you go, dude. I wish. Some, I wonder if someone would do that for me. <laughs> you know, I really think about that. Just you can punch me in the face right now and, and see if like, or, <laughs> or, or vice versa, whatever. I wonder, I wonder if people will be like, "Yo, we got it. We got to help Bella. We got out. Yeah, got to step up for Tom." I've never seen a teacher hit a kid. I've. No, it's not. Well, one time I had. I saw a teacher choke a kid. Oh, that's a, pretty scary. Yeah, at Pinecrest. Wow. It was a nice private school I went to. I was in kindergarten, and this kid wouldn't stop eating roly polies, you know, those little yeah. bugs. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think her name was Miss Dorleen, choked him once. That time. seems uh, in a. Uh, it, was, it was wildly a wild appropriate. reaction. It was in 1980. Yo, it, he, what? Yeah, and I was. I, now I'm just remembering this, and she choked him, and he turned red. I remember. Oh, she? Like, That'll teach woman. you not to eat roly polies. Roly polies, yeah. <laughs> you know, I I'm having flashbacks now too. Yeah. Of, we had a principal, and he wasn't fired for this, and I found it quite traumatic. There was this girl. She was just seemed fine, but she was really anti-authority, and this was like in fifth grade, and he came into the class. And he whispers something to her, like, hey, I need you to come to the office. And we were all watching. It was like a whole scene. And she's like, no, I'm not getting up. And he grabs her arm, and he yanks her so hard, the desk falls over. And he dra- and she drags her by the arm. What age? What? We were in fifth grade, so. What the dude, fuck, man? Dude, it was insane. Dude. And he wasn't fired for that. They thought that was all good. That's yeah. a different time. His name was Mr. Monday. Monday. Which makes sense because everybody <laughs> fucking hates Monday, am I right? <laughs> we hated that guy. Hey. Oh, yeah. I'm having a kid's fun. Hey. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I uh, remember seeing, I remember hearing <coughs> fucked up things. I never saw a teacher really do something that crazy, but I do remember seeing, we had a troubled, like a troublemaker kid and in high school, and he was fucking off, and like one of the, you know, administration people came in the room. And a big guy. Mm. And the way that he yelled at this kid, mm. who was already a bad kid, we were all like, holy <laughs> shit, man. I feel like I turned, like, just, he goes, like, you're never going to amount to shit. You're nothing. And, you're, and like, and, but he lectured him like that, and he just got really aggressive. And we were all like, fuck. To hear an adult yell at a, a kid who's already problematic and mm. be like, you're not going to amount to shit. Mm. Nothing. And we were all like. Fuck, mm-hmm. brutal. It was it was way it was more brutal than I think seeing somebody get hit. Just absolute he, he abuse. He just tore him down. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Yeah. The thing is that I actually now that I'm a little more mature and having a baby soon, I understand that kids, these kids are already kind of fuck like. Uh, yeah. Uh, they came up in a bad place. That's sure. why they're so fucked up. So they are blameless in a, in a sense. And he yes. like he got it right with this guy too. So fucked up. The yeah. kid was a piece of you shit. You followed him since. Yeah. yeah. And it, while that was happening, you're like, I'm gonna I'm gonna see if he's right. I'm gonna I follow him. <laughs> <I'm gonna> follow <laughs> this. And he's a piece of shit. Right? It didn't go out well. It didn't turn out well. Yeah. The question is, would he be if he didn't get that? Maybe he was destined. He was. It was. It was gonna be. It was always gonna be rough for him. Yeah, mm-hmm. and it ended up being pretty rough. That is so true, man. All those kids I grew up with too. There was one kid that used to flip his eyelids, and 
right on his arm and permanent marker. And he was like hyperactive and crazy. Like he grew up to be a drug dealer and a yeah. fucking loser too. Yeah. You know, kind of know when they're losers as kids even. I can tell at preschool when I drop my kid off. My God, like, oh, kid's a fucking loser. Problem is preschool. They, <laughs> hell yeah, you can tell <laughs> a fucking psycho fuck. already. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. The problem is they have shitty parents. That's right. So it's that's not the kid. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's yeah. the shitty parents. Yeah. Yeah. You got to pay attention to those parents. You see, you, you'll see it right away. You'll start to key on it more now. But mm-hmm. when you do like go to a park or something and you see, you look at the adult, and you're like, oh. this motherfucker? No way. <laughs> no way. Well, yeah. yeah. You, just, you just start. I'm about to enter a whole new world. Oh, dude. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And here's the thing I, my mistake, because I started going to those mommy and me classes and stuff. And I thought, oh, it's like this cool sorority. Like we're all in this club of people that birth mm-hmm. other people, and all these mm-hmm. women are going to be awesome. And it turns out it's just like a fucking office. Like when you work in an office yeah. and you're like 90% of these people suck it really hard. Yeah. And maybe there's like two cool people <laughs> well, that you don't talk to. Everyone uh, can shit out a baby. That's the thing. It's not, right. Because like I'm starting to feel with Elo Pregnant, it feels so special and amazing. Yeah. It's exciting. And I'm already like love this kid so much and feels incredible. <laughs> I, I, I only, The only thing I can relate it to is our dog, which I, since we got him, has been like, the center of my life. I love oh, yeah. him so much. Yeah. And I'm like, oh my God, this baby's gonna be like way beyond that. Yeah. And and it feels like so unique and special. And then you realize that everybody's got a fucking kid. Yeah. And that's part of the problem. Is but do you realize how many of them, do you ever think about how many of them don't go like, oh, this is the fucking most amazing thing? Oh. Yeah. Like, there's definitely a lot of people like that yeah. who are like, yeah, we're having a kid. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Mo- I'd say a lot of people are like that. Yeah. And they just treat it like, nah, big deal. I uh-huh. think it just really, I think me and Ela got so lucky in our, the timing of it. We've got everything in the right place. It's I could see if I if I had a baby when I was 18, that baby would be fucked. It's so yeah. cool. I think about that a lot. Yeah. That baby would be fucked. Oh, yeah. You think about when you busted in some chick and and you're like, shit, if she had had that kid, I'd be no. like, be fucked. Yeah, I'd be like talking to like my 22 year old son right now, yeah. and he'd oh be like, God. "Where were you?" I'd be like, "I was just trying to do shit, man. <laughs> Things are all right probably. now. What well, do you want? You want to go to Jamaica? Let's go. I'll take you." I mean, you probably <laughs> would. You probably wouldn't. You'd probably be driving a truck or something. Yeah, probably. I mean, I don't know what your, oh, your capacity y- is. You would not be living your dream. Yeah, you wouldn't. Be no, living your dream. no, that's what I mean. But haven't yeah, you had no. those thoughts though about like? This skank, that skank, some other skank. Okie dokie, Tom. But all no. the chicks that you would just... <laughs> all the many girls <laughs> I've got. Without, with protection, some without yeah, protection. Yeah, man, I think yeah. about dumping all those clips into those scally yeah. wagons, and you're just like, man, that could have been my baby mama. So nasty. How many women... Uh, can we talk about yeah. partners? All the time. Yeah. Go ahead. How many? It's got to be less than... Oh, here we go with the horse shit. <laughs> Let me tell you. Yes. I won't lie. You think he lies about how many people he's yes. talking No. I think Here's, he's concealed. Okay. He's he never lie? told me a firm number. Well, let's let's crunch the numbers here, Tom. How many people have you fucked that you can't ballpark it? Here's the, it's not that high. What it is is this. This yeah. is the truth. I, I didn't have many relationships. So mm-hmm. there's like, I'll Seriously? think of the numbers, and I'll be like, oh, it's not that high. And then as I'm counting, I'm like, oh, yeah, there was that beach week. Where I met that chick. So I, hum- well, I, I couldn't th- even tell what race she thing. was. Like, Before I became monogamous with Ela, I did all this, and I have like a firm, rough estimate in my head. And obviously, that count has not gone up. <laughs> um, but I'm around ten. Yeah. Yes. Same yeah. here. I'm not much more high, higher above that. Why don't you just guess? I mean, that is weird. I think no. I'm saying that I think it, like... it changes every five years when I ask. <laughs> well, I'm out there. I mean, less shit. than twenty. Less than twenty. I think so. Yeah. I think so. No, it is. It is. It is. Yeah, it is. I, it is. It, what... It's like it's, I think it's like I think it's somewhere between fourteen and nineteen. You know what I'm saying? That's a big difference. Well, <laughs> and, I guess you do have some. I, how do I mean, you not... there are some weekends in college, and yeah, that's what like, I'm talking the about. The thing is, man. Th- there are some you forget for sure. There are. And how are you forgetting who you're ejaculating? Because you're always of. hooking up with people you're in relationships yeah. with, and I didn't want to. I wanted it to be like, yeah, yeah. "What's up, bitch?" And no, I, I would just take her back. I you get so it, stupid. but I already <laughs> crunched are. the numbers. Yeah, well, you know, I I really thought about it one day, and I was like, "Oh yeah, there was that one. And there yeah. was that one." And, they were all almost all bad, by the way. I feel like <laughs> random hooking up was always just so fucking. It wasn't good. Whack. I don't. I'm not built for dating. Mm. I'm a monogamous, all the way. Yeah. I'm. Not, I could. I could not survive in today's like disposable human like mm. swiping mm-hmm. left. Or if we yeah. actually, mm-hmm. we could make a list. I think we could probably figure it out. Sorry. Jesus Christ! I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm fucking done. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I the think the babies are getting it out. used to it though. <laughs> I think we could figure. I think I really do think it's like 
15 or something. Okay. But I just haven't okay. that's really fun. hammered it. It's nothing fun. crazy, man. <laughs> 50 plus is weird. No. Wait, what's your number? We didn't it's, do yours. It's very small. Very small. It's like less than five. Oh, that's good. <laughs> yeah, she's a good girl. Wait, 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 wait. How many? It's uh, three. <laughs> So, interesting. I know me and another one, but I don't know who Four. the third one is. Oh, well, shit. No. Now you have your own It's not a problem. Game. I'm it's curious, but it's not a... I I'm think not you upset. know about him. We'll talk about it. Yeah. We'll talk about it later. <laughs> now I'm pissed, actually. <laughs> How do I know about him? <laughs> hey, what's your number? <laughs> it's under 10. What's the number? You gave me shit nah, about that. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, give, see? Give me a piece of <laughs> Same paper. thing she gave me shit about. Fresh <laughs> numbers. Well, fuck it. Last time I had a new fresh dick, it's what now, f- 14 fresh years dick, ago. Yeah. <laughs> Crusty and ashy. Yeah. She's got an ashy dick. You know what I'm saying? Now, I will say this. Go, so I, I will give you credit for this. You know their names. I know their names. I know who they I are. Know I would say 85% I don't know their name. Jesus That's weird. Christ. I know 85% yeah. I would know their name. No, because mine 100. is like, oh, uh, short. <laughs> Asian, bald, like I know that stuff about them, but I don't know anything else. You are crazy. <clears throat> but mm-hmm. looking back, I think a lot of like the one night stands I had was just like, uh, you know what it is, is that I was always looking for monogamy, but it was yeah. always just almost like a confidence thing. I'm, I'm You're with insecure you. insecure and you just want to be like, feel desirable. Dude, this is why we are fucking one. I'm exactly the same. Mm-hmm. I'm serious. Yeah, I'm exactly the same. I was the same way. Yeah. I was looking for a relationship, and lacked the confidence, too insecure. Mm-hmm. And then I would just, you know, do that, and then be. And half the time, I swear to you, I was. You'd think I was the guy that was like hooking up. Mm-hmm. Later, I was like, "What are you doing later?" And then the girl would be like, "Ugh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like going home. Like I don't yeah. want to hang out with yeah, you." Yeah, but you played it real cool with me then. What do you mean? <laughs> you weren't you weren't like that with me. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I feel like I was the one that was like, "Come on, let's do it." Yeah, because you were like a total S L U T, but like <laughs> I was not really. That's not what that means. That's the opposite. No, I, she was but... a triple D S L U T when I met her, and then <laughs> I was That's like. Cute. <laughs> you were. You were like, let's smash. Come on, stop being a bitch. Okay, so Tom. That ashy dick. Ashy dick, yeah. He was supposed to be my first one night stand because I was just out of a relationship of four years. That's true. And I said, I'm going to finally do this, what the everyone rebound. else has been doing. Yeah. I'm going to just fuck a person that I think is cute and just move on with it. So he was supposed to be a one night stand. And I just liked him too much. That's kind of great. That's beautiful. <laughs> it's kind of it's great. a beautiful poetic thing. Yeah. I'd the say, rebound looking that never back, bounced. I threw yeah. some really good D down. I was really, <laughs> I was really giving it to you. It was performing. I was. Just Were you really? Yeah. yeah. And, and and you concur. You were like, oh, uh, that was a good one. I liked him so much, and I, he was great in bed, and he was he Damn, smelled great. Move. I mean, I was here's the thing. I was twenty five. Yeah. Cute. I was, I was so cute. Yeah, I was, I was really thinner, oh. really? longer. No, he's. Oh. I think he's even cute. I think you're cuter now. Please. Than cuter you than are. ever. <laughs> yeah, he's adorable. Eva, you don't ever say I'm cuter than ever. <laughs> I don't hear adorable. I don't hear cute. I don't hear uh, uh, smashing the D. I'll say it. Etha. Etha. <laughs> you're the cutest. <laughs> That's more dad. Come on. Yeah. Hila, tell him I my... do say that no. Yeah, right. How cute do you think? Mm. It's okay though. I I I'm secured enough now. I do require a little coddling. <laughs> I do want a little <laughs> affirmation, uh, you know. But um, uh, I'm okay. I require a lot. I would like a lot. Yeah, I see. You and I are similar <laughs> that way. Where I I like the praise. I like the pets. I like. I want it all. Affection. But I get by attention. on what I get. I know that Hila is not that person. Yeah. But I I lay it on you, right? I give it to you, right? Yeah. And you like it. Let's yeah. do this. This yeah. is really interesting. Because you, you give what you want. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> and I'm always like, I love you, you're cute. But I mean what I say, and I want you to feel good and happy. But uh, I want to hear that I'm cute. Okay. Can we okay. maybe? So, yeah. So now do we're I have to do it now? No, we're waiting. <laughs> <laughs> so how do, how do I look? Okay. Very cute. Uh, that was really sweet. That so was how sweet. do you show? How do you show Ethan that you love? Yeah. What's like, your What's you your show? way of showing? Yeah. You. Yeah. <laughs> God. This is that I don't know. I know. I love watching. How she brings me coffee in the morning. Oh, I do. She what? There you go. I'm how defending you. That? She brings me coffee. In that's the very upstairs. sweet. Not always, but sometimes. I go downstairs. I yeah. make it, and then I bring. It's not, it upstairs. First of all, I want to clarify that you're not doing this every day. Eel isn't going down and cooking breakfast and like taking care of no. me. No. Sometimes, and sometimes mm-hmm. it's me. By the yeah. way, I just want to make this picture clear. <laughs> sometimes she'll surprise me with coffee in the morning. 
I think that's very sweet. That is very sweet. Yeah, I appreciate that. I remember when she used to do that. <laughs> Before the second child. At least she child. said she was cute. <laughs> she did say I was cute. Yeah. Before we had the second baby, I was bringing you coffee, but then I got to run down to that second baby. I think you look super foxy with your glasses. <laughs> you like my, my mom glasses, my I mom do. eyes? I like it a lot. <laughs> this is great. I do. Nice. This, is, this is like the Valentine's Day episode. Yeah. Valentine's But I have to say. <laughs> Ten that, years tomorrow. Uh, oh. Gonna empty okay. that sack. And, then, <laughs> and you know what Tom's been doing? He will make marital love, and then he'll be like, I didn't fart that whole time. Do you usually fart during sex? No, I never do. But I'm saying sometimes I look for a little bit of approval for doing that. Like, I'll be like, do you realize that I had to fart that whole time and I didn't? Oh. You know? <laughs> not right real. away, but a few minutes it later. It sounds like comedy. Would it ruin it's the not, mood? It's yeah. real. <laughs> Huh? Yeah. I feel like I would fart. You would? I feel like I would because I have a personal, pr- it's a principle that I will yeah, never hold a fart. you want me to call you cute. I will never hold a fart. <laughs> yeah, but you said, do you? Like, you didn't even know I was farting there. No, fact. I haven't noticed you farting. farting well, I don't sex. remember specific times, but I don't, I on principle do not hold farts in. I, I think yeah, it's a I good don't. move to hold them in probably during sex, though. You, th- you think you would just let it go? Yeah. Really? Don't you think she'd be like, hey, man. Maybe let's take a break. <laughs> <laughs> well, so far, hey, no. <laughs> Not even a sex break for a second? She'd be like, let's air this thing out. Let's pick this up next week. Yeah. <laughs> Go back to your jerking once a day. I don't yeah. think you've farted. I think I, I don't would know notice that, it. Yeah, I don't know if I... I'm just <laughs> saying that I, I generally i am not... I'm against holding farts. That's just my yeah. principle in life. I hear you. It's one of my guiding uh, principles. <laughs> Tom likes it when I buy him stuff. You like presents, right? But see, he's right, though, because what else do I do a lot? I give you presents a lot. You're you like what you get. I, I'm a, oh, I'm a gift true, giver. Yeah. I love giving gifts. Really? Yeah. I always, I've always, i always been a gift giver. Mm. And I guess that is true. It's like you're kind of saying, like, hey, why don't you mm-hmm. give me something? <laughs> I know. It is. It is, right? You do what you, but you, do what it's you want. Still nice. yeah. It's still nice. It is nice. That is a good relationship tip for everyone watching. If mm-hmm. you're with your significant other, see what they do for you when they're being nice. That's what yeah. they want. That's what they want, yeah. Mm. You want me to bring you coffee, right? <laughs> of course. Much. I want you to bring me coffee, too. Me too. All right. No worries. <laughs> yeah. I gotta tell you. But I have to say, I do love being monogamous. Yes. I love, and I can share this sentiment with you guys because you guys are the greatest. But um, I love so much being in a good monogamous relationship. It is the best. Yeah. Mm. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah. I like it too. I wouldn't, I don't know how to funk. I mean, I was obviously single before that, and I don't think it was for me, you know. Mm-hmm. I really don't. I think um, that I feel much more grounded and normal and everything in a committed relationship absolutely yeah you know? and, and even more so with babies and stuff yeah i was just gonna say that that mm. actually it wasn't until we had children i think that mm. you really you i i just see you really happy now like yeah. the That's like we good. come home and ellis That's our cool. son is almost three years old and you know they play together and I, it's it's the cutest thing ever yeah it's, <laughs> it's really nice it's really fun. fun it's really fun yeah um i mean what is, what, uh, oh, Dan says, stop futzing with your mic. It keeps going high. Futzing. <laughs> what are you all of a sudden, my grandma? Yeah, huh. speaking Yiddish. <laughs> yeah, futzing with hey. your mic. Yeah, but, um, yeah, it's the best. Monogamy is the best. Anyway. Oh, I remembered the cricket. So, mm-hmm. you cricket drop, right? Let, let people know. So, a cricket, obviously, is... It's cold as... Jesus <laughs> It's so fucking mean <laughs> to drop. I mean, you know, it's, it's funny among friends, but I'm saying in real life to do to do cricket. They do that like on on radio, somebody yeah. bombs, you know? Like, oh, that's bad. So like, that's, that's you're, mean. If you're you know? actually reeling in that moment, that that feels bad. Oh, yeah, yeah. It feels bad, right? Cool, it's the universal, bro. you're bombing. Yeah. So I was working a comedy club, and to be, like... Real clear, like the comics are obviously separate from all staff. Mm-hmm. Like, there's no such thing really as staff unless there's a long history mm-hmm. getting in on the joking, right? And there was this guy, and he wasn't very good, and he was trying stand up definitely later than he should have been trying. Mm. Like, he started at like, I want to know who this is so bad. I know, he, he started at like. And like the, he was a corporate guy. I'm talking like a I suit, know it is. you know. And he's and he's and he's he all of a sudden gets this thing. I want to do stand up, hmm. and he works out a deal where like these clubs he would do provide some service like on the business side, hmm. 
and then they would let him host shows. It was a bad deal for both. So mm-hmm. that's almost a betrayal to him because you kind of earned that. Exactly. Otherwise you're doomed. That was really weird. He was taking spots from like working comics. It that's was weird. So I do a weekend wild. where he is hosting the show. And he's, fu- I mean, you look, he's not the worst, but he's mm-hmm. just not, it's not good. And you could tell this probably isn't going to pan out. Mm-hmm. And the, the DJ, the sound guy from the DJ booth, during this guy's set in front of a packed house, the, the guy no. <laughs> would hit a joke and the DJ would play crickets. And I was oh like, oh my God. Oh, I mean, my brain <laughs> <What>? <laughs> exploded. I was like, what are you doing? Because it was so cruel. And like, oh but also God. like kind of ballsy, like the guy <laughs> in a weird way, he didn't deserve that. I mean, he deserved being fucked with, but like the the whole thing is burned into my memory because I also felt for him on stage. I'm like, you can't do that to him. But how that's how much he was like, oh, fuck you, man. <laughs> he was like, he snapped back. <laughs> and I was like, I remember I was sitting in the back of the room. I'm like, I've never seen that. I've never seen it <laughs> since. I've yeah. never seen the sound crickets guy be like, stage. fuck this comic. Wow. And hit, hit the crickets. Man. Well, welcome to the Chew Podcast because crickets <laughs> are the staple here. My <laughs> really? Dude. He oh, smashes man. me with that at least several times. See, episode. but I like that between you guys. That's yeah. Different. yeah, that's different. That I can I wouldn't by. do it to like a guest. Dude, you know? that would be insane. <laughs> like if we didn't tell you guys. <laughs> <laughs> or, well, we're, we're friendly. We're yeah, here. Sure. But, like, say it's just some random person. You're yeah. like, oh, no. you're just like, yeah. And then we went, <laughs> oh, shit. I should so test that mean. out. It's a quick, you could be, you could really, that is brutal. the wrong sensibility with that person could be like, you know what? This was nice meeting you guys. And just like, mm-hmm. absolutely walk out. I think you guys as comics definitely have an aversion to the crickets, though. Oh, right? yeah. Yeah, man. For sure. Mm-hmm. It's so mean. Oh, shit. I feel better if that wasn't an option. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Take that off the sound. Yeah. Off, but... yeah. <laughs> Do you ever forget if you've taken a shit today or not? I just, for a second, was like, I don't know if I'm taking uh, a shit today. Dude, I, started... I know I've had to shit for a couple of hours, <laughs> hmm. but I can hold it. You're holding you it? always well, have you're to shit. you're sitting on it, so it helps. Right? <laughs> it helps. Yeah, yeah. Find that? When are you not <laughs> never not shitting? That should be your... Your Dude. Twitter handle. So let me tell you guys some. I have some new shitting updates. Yeah, yeah. The focus of it. all of our of our <laughs> yes, attention. Of yes. Course. So I was taking Metamucil, which is, uh, as you know, you know what Metamucil is. Yeah, yeah. It helps yes, you make brown. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And so I ran out of Metamucil, and I started taking Costco uh, generic. Why? Why? What because it was there. What does it matter? Well, hold on. You can get to conclusions. Because since I started taking these generics, my shit. I can shit tell you have been... super turned on right now. <laughs> I, like, I, you I, are cute. <laughs> dude, I talk to Ela about shit more than anything. Uh-huh. Start on the ground. So, wait, uh, what happened with this generic? Amazing. Amazing. Perfect little nuggets. <laughs> really? I'm talking like strong. When do you take the nuggets? <laughs> what time of day? Usually I'll take two with every meal. Two with every meal? Well, you're supposed to take like 20 in a day, you know. What? what? No, not I swear 20. to God. I, 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 it says take five, five times a day. No. What? So too much. I really? swear to you it says hmm. that. That's way too much. I agree. It's insane. I'm not a horse. I'm just a guy trying to have some clean shits. What about co- <laughs> colace? Colace? That sounds... It's a, it's Anything a, with colon and... No, it's a stool <laughs> softener. It, you take it after you give birth to start the, the engine again. Oh. I mean, that's not you. You're taking like too many capsules a day. That that's a lot of fiber. Well, my shits look fucking fantastic. I want really? to take yeah. photos of them. <laughs> How's the wiping? When that when I shit like that, it's like. And uh, did you get a clean, my uh, dude? You have a good washlet now. Not no, yet. we haven't gone to that yet. Okay. But oh. I do want to. I want to you total it up. Yeah. Yeah, it's on our list. We we're doing like a gate and. Yeah, we've got a lot of work blinds. Yeah, yeah. yeah I hear it's you. Not... yeah, you know, I privacy. Know. I gotta get some privacy, man. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need. I do. But I, I am actually curious. When you have the baby, mm-hmm. tell me what happens. You have the baby, and then you take the baby home, mm-hmm. and then you're just at home with the baby. Yeah, yeah. yeah we scary? were wondering, yeah. like, to, what tell do you her do? on baby number two? It's what happened on baby number two? What? Hmm. So this both times we've lived pretty close to the hospital. You know, not more than a ten minute drive, really. To 12 yeah. On the drive home this time, I pulled over just to double ch- like check because I was like, "Is he all right? Is he being <laughs> strangled by the seatbelt?" They're belt? so tiny. They're so small in that car. You're driving seat. home oh from, the hospital. from the hospital with baby, and I'm like, "So wait, I'm oh starting to panic." Gosh, yes. yeah, I didn't even so think about young. that. Yeah, they're like this. Wait, that's and what the you're car supposed to do like in this. case you have an accident or anything. Oh yeah, you, you pack them in there and. But the first kid, 
the first kid, we didn't even know how to buckle a kid into the car. <laughs> right. So yeah. we, we had to ask the nurse to come out and help <laughs> us in, in the hospital. I'm like, how do we do it? I don't like, you know. Like, yeah. You take that baby home and you're sleep deprived already because mm -hmm. you've, yeah. you've been giving, you know, you gave birth 24, 48 hours before and now you've got this being and it's. We did shifts. Um, it's so terrifying. We would take yeah. shifts. I remember mm -hmm. we were watching a Star Wars movie. Yeah. And we, uh, it was like six days later and we were 15 minutes into this movie. <laughs> so we would watch, then you'd think, I'm going to watch it. You'd watch like a minute. You're like, oh my God, you just passed out. <laughs> and then you'd wake up because the baby woke up. And then, you know, it'd be like 3.30 and she'd be like, go to bed. And I'd go to bed and she'd be on the wow. couch. Like, it was were you guys just like off during that time? You clear your schedule? Yes, work? it was kind of great because it was yeah. December. Yeah, near uh, December yeah. 14th, I gave oh. birth to Ella. So it was right before the holidays. So it was That's a, almost your birthday, Ella. Yeah, it was a nice, December 12 is my birthday. Oh, okay, <laughs> cool, yeah. But you're going to have a summer baby, which is kind of even better because you're not in the cold and flu season. Mm. They read you the, like, don't take the baby into the mall. It's going to mm. catch this mm. airborne diseases. And that's mm. nice because in the summer, the days are longer. So it's... That's true. It's right. going to be n easier for you well, guys. I'm, we're going to mm. take like two weeks off for sure. I think it will take longer. I'm just I hope so. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, well, yeah. Well, no, I mean, I'm just going to come in and do the podcast or something. I don't know. Yeah. Is that enough? We were wondering. You take as much time as you want. I'm for thought, you, I'm wondering. Well, I'm uh, just going to run in, and, yeah. I, and I think it'll yeah. be fun to talk to everybody about what's going on. Yeah. It's not a big commitment. Got some yeah. I got some ideas for you. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm so I'm very excited to spending like just that family time. It's great. You'll never get that again. Yeah. You know, especially first baby. Yeah. It's like, Is that the scariest cool. moment? Like with yeah. that first baby, you just bring it like, home, and you're like, I'm, so I'm terrified crazy. of that. Like, yeah. seriously. Well, yeah. here's what you can do to help. <laughs> if you have a mom who you want to have around you, <laughs> yeah. um, some people don't. I didn't. And so if you don't have a parent or some maternal figure that can walk you through it, hire someone. If you can afford right. it. If you can't afford it, hire someone. Mm -hmm. Hire a doula. Right. Somebody who can help you through your pregnancy and delivery and be mm -hmm. there just to take care of you and that baby and your family. Because mm. we were lucky we had a girl come and cook for us a little oh, and, oh, and wow. help us out. You know, um, yeah, it's kind we of, didn't you need family, help. Though. We didn't have that's, any that's, family. That's definitely a rougher. No. I mean, my mom plans to come visit, but you know. She yeah. She'll be there for a couple of weeks when you give birth. And my yeah. mom lives here. Yeah. And there is that that thing. It's like the first ninety days. That's 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 the hairiest. You know. Yeah, the, yeah. yeah. That's but, what you want to get through. But mm. just know that after the first ninety days, it gets a lot easier. Yeah. Mm. They turn into babies and get all like, cute oh, and they're yeah, yeah. awesome. <laughs> you start to see personality. But you stuff and, <laughs> yeah. you were telling me about the the car ride home. You yeah. didn't finish that story, did you? No, just that I was I started. I was like, "Is he all right?" And she was like, "Yeah, he's <laughs> fine." And I was like, "I don't know." And she was like, do you want to pull over? I go, yeah, I want to pull over. <laughs> okay, pull over. So I pulled over and I just, I did, I mean, it was like one of those like OCD kind of yeah. things where you're like, did I, did I lock the door? Yeah. Did I lock the door? Like mm. it was like that. And I just, you know, I was like, yeah, he's all right. I just had to double check. Mm. Even though, you know. Worth it. it. Yeah, yeah, of just course. Just pull over real quick. Yeah, yeah for sure. That's a thing. Yeah. So you spend the night in the hospital for a day or two? So it depends on the delivery. If you have an easy peasy, um, you know, whatever delivery Called with post no, delivery. Post yeah. delivery. If it comes yeah. out, your, if it blasts your your v hole, and uh, and, it, and there's no complications, Thanks. you could be out of the hospital within like 48 hours, right? Mm. If you have a C section, <clears throat> they might keep you there from like three to five days, from what I understand. Wow. So it's a lot. They monitor you because they want to make sure you know there's no internal bleeding or mm -hmm. problems mm -hmm. with you and the baby. That's it just good. depends on how easy it is. Mm -hmm. how I mean, it's pretty incredible how women just used to fucking die. Oh yeah. Uh, it's terrifying. Oh, and yeah. what happened was women used to deliver uh, before the discovery of soap and washing your hands mm. in oh. between delivery. Women would die on the birthing table because physicians didn't know to wash Just their hands. Just nasty old hands going in there. Do you mind if I finger you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's crazy. I can't imagine like like now having a baby. We don't we don't assume that it's risky Gender. or or life threatening. Yeah, <laughs> gender right. We don't assume that. that but yeah. you don't oh, ever you're not going to assume the gender, are you? I have an, I had an idea for a funny YouTube video, and yeah. I'm gonna. I don't think I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna tell you guys the idea. We were gonna do. You know how people do these uh, gender reveals? Yeah, yeah. the balloons and yeah. the pink and the blue. <laughs> so when we found out the gender, I was gonna do a video on our YouTube channel and. The balloons pop and it's white. And I look at the camera and go, "How dare you expect me to <laughs> to assume the gender of my baby? Yeah. Shame on you!" Yeah. <laughs> I like it. I thought I like it'd be Ela Vito. I love it. No. You like it? Should I still I like do it? it? It's funny. I feel like yeah. it's ruined now. <laughs> I thought it would have been such a great two-minute little. Yeah, it's a cute little one. 
How dare you? How dare you're sick. you? You're the pro. You're everything wrong in this world. <laughs> now, are you the kind of people that you're gonna wait until you have it to know the gender, or do you no. want to know? I want to know. Yeah. Right now. I always I wanted to know. do that no. thing too, because you see couples <laughs> in the terrible. in the uh, in the hospital <laughs> posing with the baby. I always fantasize that in the the room next door was like a black family, and that I was allowed that they would let me. Hold the baby, <laughs> but, but pose, but be like really disappointed. Oh my God. Like, that, dude, that Christina definitely effed somebody else. But well, let me tell you, I had a lactation consultant. That's another thing in Whoa. the hospital. They come around they to make sure around, you're breastfeeding yeah. well, and, and they start uh, squeezing those. They squeeze those tits. Yeah, Do they? She, yeah, they now yeah. they slap them, they suck them, they everything. Uh, and she told me that she goes, "Today I had a pretty crazy day." I go, "What happened?" She goes, "The baby came out and it wasn't the same color as both the parents." No Whoa. way, that actually happened. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, that's so they did. A, that. Yeah, and they did a paternity test. Yeah. In the I asked you for that. Huh? <laughs> I Please, asked you. Look at our children. <laughs> they look like you. The <laughs> older boy looks just like you. I know. He's so cute. Yeah. <laughs> but you asked for a paternity yeah, test? Yeah, when I was like, I was like, this guy looks just like you. I don't see any me in this. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> so stupid. She wouldn't that, do it. Isn't that one of the most <laughs> fucked up things in the world, though? Yeah. When a woman, like, raises someone dude, else's dude's child. Imagine being, like, actively... That's the thing is, like, the, like for that lady, possibly, she was actively probably, let's say, trying to get pregnant. It's was like, well, I'll just hop on one other dick, see what happens there, too. That's that has crazy. to be an accident. Yeah. yeah. You're cheating like that? I guess. It's got to happen know, both dude. ways. But she had to know that there was a chance that it was going to be a black baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she's like, please, God, please. Because <laughs> you, you, the ultrasound don't tell you that. No. 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 Hell no. <laughs> the doctor's like, uh, you've got a black baby. <laughs> During delivery, I'm sure it's like everyone's like, all right. And they're like cheering. And then they're like, oh, oh shit. Like, why is it so quiet? <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that is so messed up. <laughs> but all the little things, like when we had the first ultrasound, the doctor's like, we can do screening or we can do invasive testing or we put a needle in yeah. you and do that we squeeze. And I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't they be, do, don't do be now sticking now my. They do blood. No, they can do it. It's amazing. Yeah. yeah. Well, he what he said is, the sc- I was like, well, why would I want to do that? The screening is 95% mm-hmm. certain, and then I guess the invasive testing is 90, is, is certain. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I, I'll take the. Yeah, but now mm, there's even, fine. it's expensive, but there's there's blood tests <laughs> now that the screening is unbelievable. And they could do it within 10 days. <laughs> why wouldn't I give them that option? Was it like yeah. an, an ridiculous? Maybe it's like it's very No, it's not. But... It's, well, it's called Natera. That's what we had. <clears throat> I think around 12 weeks or 14 weeks, they do a comp- They take like 15 vials of blood. Yeah. But Whoa. they can tell you everything, man. Whoa. What color, you know, their pubes are going to be in. <laughs> This baby Whatever. will uh, have red pubes <laughs> aboard. <laughs> oh, that was another fun one. Yeah. If you have like a fun doctor where you can ask, uh, you know, I'm like, so what happens? Because they go through, you know, oh, your tests came back and there's no genetic markers for anything mm-hmm. that you would worry about. And I'm like, so how often do people flush? And he's like, eh, you know, happens. Sometimes it's for something like really serious. Like we'll tell them this is like a major genetic to th- defect he's like sometimes it'll be like not a health threat we'll be like you know i don't know like, like an extra finger he said yeah like a and toe th- yeah and they'll be like just abort it and he's yeah. like are you sure Whoa. and they're like yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> they're like nah it's, yeah. it's too weird how many toes what no yeah, yeah. It's can you crazy. imagine that's crazy that i is, know they're like <laughs> so the thing is he's got a big earlobe they're like why don't you flush that yeah flush <laughs> that we'll start over <laughs> I don't want to. Oh my god! That's how like some people are. What color are the eyes? Brown. <laughs> Blush. Brown like my shit. Like when I shit. I know. <laughs> Actually, what's we're gonna most likely have blue eyed babies, because Eli has blue eyes mm-hmm. and my dad has blue eyes. Mm-hmm. So doesn't that mean seventy five percent? I don't know. I forget I don't how all that shit works. I learned it in tenth grade. <laughs> because right? the blue right. is recessive. It's really yeah. But you're it's dominant, so dominant though. because the yeah, brown always know. wins out. But there's. I, you know what? We're... If she has blue, 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 blue yeah. in her line, mm. then that becomes dominant, <laughs> I'm assuming, right? Your dad didn't have blue eyes. He had, like, h- hazel. Brown. Hazel. <laughs> I know that blue, like, hazel. angels have blue eyes. Okay. And I know that... Blue angels? Yeah, blue angels have blue eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I <was> like, what? <laughs> it's like a tough biker gang, but you have, to have blue eyes. Yeah. <laughs> you guys want to rob this place? <laughs> Let me see your eyes. You like Dude. your doctor? You trust your doctor and stuff? 
Um, it, I don't know. It's like a new doctor. He seemed cool. Some cool, but I don't have a background with him. Oh. Kaiser. Okay. Mm-hmm. He seemed nice though. He got. He had a nice little joke. He was like, uh, "I've been doing this for twelve years, and you could trust me when I say you are pregnant." Oh Jesus Christ! It was a joke though. <laughs> well, if you don't like him, definitely now's the time to change, because <laughs> uh, he's gonna be with you at one of the craziest moments of your life. But and if you don't, trust who does him, the delivery part? Your OB, really? Generally. And then, but yeah. there is a possibility that your OB would Won't not be, be there. accessible, mm. but most likely mm. would be your OB. They all know what they're doing. Yeah, I figure. But he will have the. Uh, Front row seat to the oh, yeah. fissure. Front row seat. <laughs> Did you don't see that? Do you? What the everything? The going vag on blast. There. You didn't I mean, the like the actual the, bla- the vag blast Dude. when the grenade went off. Yeah. I didn't watch that exact moment. <laughs> yeah. But like, I watched that thing. You know, I watched the air pump into it, and I watched it swell. Wait, up. air pumping? Yeah. What are you talking about? Tell me everything. About? Because you, when you start, when the baby starts <clears throat> coming out, right? You see pressure forming down there, uh-huh. and then you see after a while you just see hair coming out. It's the scalp, like the baby's, mm-hmm. and then you see it push through a little more. Yeah, and you can bro. Feel that there's pressure there. It's like like a giant, like a balloon is out. going like yeah. swelling up. And you're uh-huh. like, oh, and then so I'm like, this is about to pop. I don't want to see the pop. Mm-hmm. You know? uh-huh. Was there a pop? No, not really. But, but there is a the lot moment of... where it finally clears and like all the fluid and. And all the shit. And all the shit. I didn't want to see that. So let me, let me, you're you're by her side, like by her head, and then you like peek. Like, how does it work? Yeah, so like, so (laughs) if uh, her head's here. Yeah. There's one leg. This this mic arm is her leg. Mm -hmm. They put your legs in the I'm holding the leg here, and I got her foot here in this elbow, and I'm leaning back with it. You can take a peek. Yeah, so you go like that. You're like, oh, shit. Everything's good. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, you don't feel wow. it if you have an epidural. It doesn't matter. All <laughs> the shit they're saying doesn't even matter. Don't, whatever you, you do, don't look at my foot. face. And then the doctor. You're like, <laughs> he's, taking, he's taking like handfuls of lube. Oh, is he? Oh, yeah. What? I didn't and know he's this. like Lubing he's, the baby up? No, he's he's lubing the rim. Like oh, he's lubing. And he, and he goes like, boop. And he's like, oh, my goodness. Yeah, well, yeah. I, I, te- I felt like he would push it around the baby's head. <laughs> like making, try to get the head yeah. out so that I wouldn't And also just like. Like, and stretching it. Yeah, but stretch that's why out. they had to cut my vag because it was just so snug. And, <laughs> <laughs> and so I have so many questions. What do you remember from like, that, that weird experience? Part. Because Everything. Tom he pulls saw... his dick out. Remember that? And the dog was like, <laughs> I got to get some of this too. He, put his he, th- he took a bunch of lube and put on his dick. <laughs> yeah, it's great. <laughs> well, because Tom had like this whole view and yeah. you, there was a lot going on that you don't remember. Do you, do, yeah. What do you remember? Just like lots of pushing? Lots no, of... you. I remember everything. You're not out of it. You're not mentally out of it with the epidural. You're, you're just physically You're physically numb. numb. Mm-hmm. You're, you can't move your legs and stuff. So they put your legs in stirrups when mm. go time. No, I remember everything. You just push. You push like just you have lots to shit. Of pushing, lots, lots. Of you pushing. push like it. Well, they like to. They like to wait until you're at the right at the head. Right, you know, right at the very end of the tunnel there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you just you push like you're shitting, mm-hmm. and then you feel like um, you're constipated, or it's like a good n- shit just keeps coming out. Dude, that's interesting. No, it, yeah, it feels like a shit that won't come out, and then all of a sudden, like you feel the head. Like he's talking about that moment with mm-hmm. the hair, and then all of a sudden, like you feel that pop. Like that, they had came out. out. I've had shits yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. And then the shoulders, and once oh. once they turn it, and the shoulders come out of you, it just goes. Mm-hmm. The, the baby like shoots out of you, and you literally just like in a ball. In a ball, and and, and all that shit comes out, like yeah. you said. Yeah. But it's crazy because you, you feel everything come out of you in wow. that second. You're like, ah, like it's so jarring. Is that an amazing feeling? It's unlike anything it's not like taking a shit because it's literally like your, your insides inside. are coming out of you at wow. once and it's not painful i don't mean to scare you it's not painful <laughs> yeah, it it's work. just it's unlike it's anything else i listen i went back for seconds so it can't be that yeah. bad and did you see that moment when the baby came <laughs> out? yeah 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 you saw that yeah Is that once, amazing like this little oh creature? my god you're like yeah you, you, you'll get emotional for sure why yeah. well <laughs> i mean because you're like care? my life's yeah. over you know <laughs> why do you even care <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then, so yeah. how was the, and then, so Let's they see. cut your, so they cut my the name taint, of that? Uh, perineum. Oh, the perineum. It has a chode. A, is there a fun, is that what a chode is? Yeah, I it's think It's the so. skin between the vagina. It's called, what's it called your though? When they cut it? It's called a, it's called an episiotomy. A chodeotomy. A chodeotomy. A, chode- <laughs> <laughs> a chodectomy. So how was the, how is it healed? Yeah, so, if you get episiotomy and calamari, it's actually really good. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so here's the deal. The first one, <laughs> the first one I had, it didn't heal great because she stitched it up kind of funk funkily. Mm. So it, it healed. It hurt. The scar hurt for mm. a long time. But the second time around, I told to my doctor about it, and then he sewed it up perfectly. And mm. now I don't even. So what was it you I said to the doctor? Because I want I want yeah to I want Elo to I want to know that I can ask for it to get make sure you stitched up right. What did you say to the doctor? I said that whoever the fuck did it the first time <coughs> fucked, up. fucked it up. I'll and say that to him. It's tender. Like, whoever fucked up, whoever <laughs> delivered the last baby fucked up. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you want to you want to ask if he? Di- I don't know because you might not need an episiotomy. You might be. Oh, you might. It and might it'll just, be fine. You right. might tear a little bit if you do vaginal. Sure, okay. You might need a C-section. Mm. Who knows? Ask okay. him if he does episiotomies and how's the stitching work. I'm gonna say doctor. What if he's like, I mean, I've done them. I'm not the best, but we'll do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you want someone talk to women that, if you can that have do- gone to him. Yeah, that's their episiotomies huge. or ask women, yeah, that have delivered with him. How do you how? find women that? Yeah. yeah. You well, you just get recommended, like. Mm. Yeah, but you're with it's, Kaiser. It's all Kaiser. Mm. Oh shit. I mean, he seems he seems not. Nice. He's a young Probably. guy, which I like. He's not like an old fucking guy. Yeah. He's probably like forty. He's Asian. Oh, I didn't a, realize what that. What does that mean? I that's think it's a big good. plus. Yeah, he's yeah. serious. Yeah, of course. That's interesting. Course. So he's gonna be actually doing the the. If delivery? we want to switch to him, then he's gonna. Yeah, I think so. He'll and pop in at the last hour and be like, "All right." Yeah, that's mm-hmm. what they buckets do. Buckets oh, of lube. And by the way, the doctor doesn't come in until the very end. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you'll be like pushing. And you're like, "Where the <laughs> fuck is he?" And he's in the hallway or her, and they'll call her. In. And there's that one nurse. What do they call it? Who's like in charge of the whole thing? Isn't there a name for it? Oh, I don't know. But there's always a nurse Bad with nurse. a lot of personality for a some lot. reason. We had them huh. twice. There's someone huh. who's like, <laughs> like Shecky Green, and they find out you're a comedian. It's oh. over. Oh. It's oh. fucking <laughs> over. And Tom yeah. and I are not Shecky, Shecky Ducky all the time, especially mm. when you're having a child. I would definitely, like, if they ask you what you guys do, just be like, don't. I'm an accountant. <laughs> I work yeah. in sales. Yeah. I, I always <laughs> usually just say something like video production regardless because I don't ever want to tell them. No, what you should do, you'd be like, what do I do? And then just pull up your YouTube account and be like, check this out right here. H3 Productions? Yeah. Yeah. Hashtag H3 Productions. I, Hashtag, do you guys like it? Yeah. <laughs> You're it. That's, uh, I hate it's weird. I it's, um, it, I avoid it. it. It's also like in the delivery room, it's like, it's the worst yeah. for someone it's to the like. the worst time. If you, you also, you know, it. if you're going like, this is, to me, this isn't like, the loose laugh moment, and someone's like, <laughs> and they start working their personality into you. And I, I do that thing where I just ignore. Oh, That's like, why I, I feel them I trying to be acknowledged, mm-hmm. and I'm just like, yeah, I'm not going to acknowledge you. <laughs> so I just, I mean, it, it bothers me, you know. Like, I mean, you yeah. gotta, do, you gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. Yeah, I ignored her. Look, and, and in hindsight, I should have been like, someone get fucking <laughs> Shecky Green out of my delivery room. Yeah. I should have just demanded it, but I don't want to be able. How did they find out you guys are comedians? They fucking. They someone will talk. tell. Someone will. Someone will They'll know. Recognize one like one that. nurse at the station will be like, "That's from the thing," <laughs> and then tell all the nurses. And then the yeah, nurses right. are like, "Oh, we got ourselves a little celebrity here, huh?" Yeah. 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 People, I think, which is what we're looking for when we yeah. <laughs> go in, right? To be. I don't think people would ever guess I'm an entertainer or a comedian because I think I'm really very introverted out in the. They might world. not guess, but all you gotta do is have the guy wheeling. The meal to somebody's room, mm. walk by and right. like, that's Ethan. Well, they go that that's H three H three, and people are like, "Who the fuck? What does that mean?" Right, but then he'll he'll be like, "You don't understand." And, start, <laughs> and then, have you not seen vape? <laughs> fucking, th- and then it's just it, it'll go from there. All of a sudden, they'll be like, "We were watching your guys' videos last night. Are you dilated?" And they're very <laughs> funny. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Totally. You know which one I didn't like? You'll start hearing <laughs> criticism. Yeah. Yeah. You'll be like, "Thank you. That's crit- what I wanted right now." I look totally. for criticism everywhere I can get it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> especially for you, nurse. Yeah. yeah. Oh, take a tour of the hospital before you give birth. Mm. Like, do it in your second mm-hmm. trimester when you're not huge and mm. waddling, mm-hmm. so you know what to do. Mm. When you know the go time, comes. yeah, and early register, early registration. Yes, mm. then so you're you don't do it you're when you're super in labor. Advanced. What does that mean? <laughs> that means like when you actually you can go in. All right, you can register at the hospital for like you know have all your information. Here's your name, address. This is mm-hmm. your insurance, everything, and then they'll be like, "Oh, that's this so is maternity." Smart. Then when you come in. You go like we already registered. They're like, oh yeah, take her up. Mm. Oh, if that's not, you arrive yeah. and they're like, you should do that. Fill out everything. Sick yeah, because when we came in, I was in labor with the first kid. Yeah, and you know they're like, sit down, fill out paperwork. Does she want to do it? And I was like, fuck no. Like I'm having contractions mm-hmm. right yeah. now. Like mm-hmm. I want to fill out. Paperwork. Yeah, and they'll like not let people down the hall. You know. Yeah. Like, oh my god. Wow. Okay, that's a hot tip. <laughs> yeah. 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 
Mm. <coughs> well, I'm excited. I, I, I seriously am amazed. Dude, and I'll tell you, too, it's kind of weird because there's life before children, B.C., and then <laughs> after children, A.C., and you're like, I can't. I don't even remember what the fuck we did before we had kids, right? At this point, no. Mm -hmm. All that free time? Does yeah. it give your life the more meaning? Hell? You feel yes. more purposeful? Of course. You have to be a total fucking psycho to not think that. Mm -hmm. I talked to somebody who was like that, who I was like... Nothing's different. I, like, oh. He was like, I go, well, your life was meaningless bullshit before. He's like, no, it wasn't. I go, yes, it was. Mm. And he was like, why would you say that? I'm like... You have a fucking one year old. Mm -hmm. You don't understand yeah. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, I wasn't meaning it. Him. Yeah, yeah. He was like, don't be one of those. I was like, dude, you you now are responsible for someone's I think I know life. What you're talking about. Yeah. Oh, I just. <laughs> <laughs> just snap. Uh, I just remembered the guy who was telling us to not have kids. To remember not have told kids? you that. In Sweden. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. What a psycho. This guy, we went. We go out to Sweden. We don't know him personally, <laughs> but he was, like, there, a friend of a friend. How long anyway. ago? This guy's fucked. He's, like, away from his family, traveling all the time. He's like, don't have kids. Oh, that's I'm why. Too. He doesn't but like it. At any rate, I was like, okay, whatever. But I don't care like, about you. I didn't take it seriously. Like, I in a conversation you'll never have. Like, I've never heard anyone be like, I have and kids total and earnest. don't have He's kids. like, honestly, I don't really like them. <laughs> Wait, Bert told you this <laughs> Yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> well, uh, well, I will say if you enjoy having a dog, and I know that yeah. a dog and a yeah. child is not the same, kind of similar or similarities. That's why I'm mm -hmm. so excited because Shredder, like, I have so much love for him. And, yeah. like, I see him as a person. He's like the heart, and and that's what that's why I'm so excited. And with him, yeah. we also we also were thinking like, what was our life before Shredder? Yeah, mm -hmm. now it's all about him. Because all like, you want to walk in love. all day, and we that's, gotta... that's why. Yeah, you want to just love You're Shredder. Ready. I've been thinking so much about what it is to be a parent. It's so weird. It's really such an important kind of rite of passage as a person, right? Yes. yes. Because you have to think about who you are as a person, who you want this person to be. What kind of person do you want to be for them? And like, then the other thing, on top of everything you're saying, is you do have those moments where you <coughs> really start thinking about your parents in a different mm -hmm. capacity. Because you're mm -hmm. like, oh, they did all this shit. Mm -hmm. And then you realize, like, I'll th I think you have a lot of forgiveness because you go, mm -hmm. like, they were just trying to, yeah. to do this. Sure. You know? And they... Whatever they messed up, they didn't try to mess it up. Yeah. Or you realize you know. how shitty your parents were. <laughs> yeah, right. I, I, and then, I you were no, no. Uh, I, actually, I, I had I the think, opposite experience. <laughs> well, yeah, but like, I mean, fuck, they really dropped the ball here, here, well, here, yeah. here, here, here. I mean, that could happen too if they yeah, really it goes either way. The ball. Yeah. But it is really amazing how much like <laughs> of a life change it seems that that it, it will be. You know yeah. what the biggest thing is? I think that sense of responsibility of caring for another human being—it's transformative. Mm -hmm. and it, like until you, until I, at least until I went through it, I didn't feel like a real adult. Mm -hmm. You know, until you're, you're every day you wake up and because you're alive, that little dude's, mm -hmm. those two dudes are alive, you know? And if, there's levels to this shit, man. Yeah. You know and what I'm saying? Shit. Adult, adulthood is like, you know, <laughs> there's like getting a job. Right. Yeah. Remember like when you, I don't know, if you, when you remember getting like a retirement account, you're like, oh, I have a retirement account? It feels like an adult thing. Buying a house is like the Huge. big thing. Yeah. You feel like an adult, <laughs> but nothing ever feels as big. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As being like, I have a kid who I'm responsible yeah. for, for everything. That is the most adult move ever. Yeah. For sure. Why is it yeah. human nature is so fucked up? Because you're supposed to have a kid at like 16, 17, yes. 18. Physically. Yeah. And then if I had a kid at that age, I would fucking ruin that kid's life. Oh, yeah. 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 But now I feel like we're in a good place in our thir early 30s. But in nature, that's kind that's of like a death late. wish to have a kid at that age. You're going to have a kid in what? In college, and you'll be fifth. I always do the college math, don't you? You're like, oh, I'll be my kid. Well, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be forty. That's that's pretty good. I'll be under fifty when they start Dude, college. That's lucky. crazy. That's good, right? That's Dude, great. you guys are doing it. Look, yeah, we're gonna be like with yeah, canes so walking cool. down. <laughs> like, well, how go old get them when your first one starts college? Well, so I was thirty-eight when I had Ellis, right? Or thirty-nine yeah. when I. Yeah. Gave that's birth. only seven-year difference with Ella. That's yeah, or eight-year. You're thirty, right? That's a what? lot, though. Or you'll be thirty-one. Yeah. Oh, perfect. I'm, yeah. And now I'm 42. I, I was, yeah, I just turned 42 <coughs> when I had Julian, the second baby. Yeah. So I'm fucking old ass mama. No, but mm -hmm. you, I, I oh. feel like you're going to be, I do think that you guys are going to be, are much better parents in a way. When you're older and you're more secure, yeah. you've been around, yeah. you have so much more to offer your kid. Well, you're way more so. patient too. Yeah. That's I true. I see people losing, like, younger parents, not really 
getting. Like, mm-hmm. dude, if you lose your shit on that kid right now, it's oh. not really the way to parent. They you soak know? everything. Because yeah. yeah. you're so triggered up, and you don't you don't know you don't have that experience of life to be like, oh, this is just a trigger. This yeah. is a childhood thing. This is a thing. This isn't about him. This is about what mm-hmm. happened back here. Mm-hmm. You know, it's a lot. So your, your past and your present, and everything merges. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have been thinking a lot about that stuff since I started therapy because it's all about like your family and your yeah. past and big time and I, stuff I never thought about before. But but you seem happier. I I think you <coughs> do. You feel better, or a little more relief, or has it started yet? Um, well, I've been doing. I've I've been doing a, as much as I can, kind of to do deal with the depression. Yeah, I started taking antidepressants. About I haven't said that publicly because I was kind of waiting to see. I do. I did want to talk about it publicly because I think it's important for people to know what it is. Because I had such a huge misconception of what yeah. it is. Mm-hmm. But I think I've been on it for like two months now, and it definitely helps a lot. That's great. Like that's great. A lot. great. It's great that you made a decision to do that, and that it's working. Well, <clears throat> I kind of hit a wall where I was like, uh, anything other than this. I was putting off it for so long, sure. but then I was just like, you know, anything other than whatever this is now. And but actually, it's not. It's really, it's really quite subtle. Um, the first two weeks is really tough because you, f- you feel it and it's confusing and you don't know what you're feeling and you feel the side effects a lot. You can have a headache and you cannot sleep well and. You, my thing was I was feeling like foggy in my brain. That was super frustrating. Just like the first couple of weeks of on, <coughs> on the medication? Yeah, starting the meds. And then what? It kind of just evens out? <laughs> yeah, and then I started to feel... Are you okay? You on a yeah, time crunch? Sorry, we, oh, yeah, we gotta... You guys gotta bounce? Oh, I don't know. I don't sorry, know. yeah, we, oh. we, we it's lose six, our nanny. Oh. Yeah, oh. we gotta go. <laughs> Somewhat soon. Yeah. And Seth is... <coughs> it's been a good her. time. It's been a, such I'm a so fantastic sorry. This is like a real great moment to bring... <laughs> yeah, thank you. I was really... I'm I was, so sorry. No, actually, this has <laughs> been a long podcast. Yeah. Yeah. We're is at it? two. We're we at usually see, we wrap it up now. If it wasn't this, we could have kept talking forever. Yeah, we definitely could have, but you guys are mommies and daddies as... Sorry, guys. I'm really happy man that that you're feeling better and that it's working well, for you well i'm still i'm still miserable okay i'm still depressed but i'll <laughs> say this and i said it to Ila the other day the difference now oh. is that there's a light at the end of the tunnel yeah. that's great that's all mm-hmm. it needs to be i feel like there's hope and i can see a way out of it and now. don't be one of these fucking guys that goes like no i'm done taking it like uh no, I'm mm-hmm. not. no don't be that guy mm-hmm. well and what i was saying is i'm taking that i'm exercising Great. and i'm uh Doing therapy, right? Huge. That's mm-hmm. like all the things that they say are good. And you're and, jacking it every day. And you're jacking and your every, cock. Yeah, I don't know if that helps, but I do jack. <laughs> I'm off pretty sure lot. they tell you to jack off a lot. <laughs> well, they do say too that reaching out for help is the key. <coughs> yes. In in the in a prognosis that's mm-hmm, you know you're positive. already the champ, and you're yeah. already you're doing what good. you should be doing. Yeah, it feels. This is awesome. Yeah, it's been good. Let me brag for Tina for a second. She did her special eight months pregnant. I know. And I was you were thinking pregnant. You were about super that. pregnant and all it's, the promos and stuff. It's amazing. It I was there for so it. Hard. I was there. I remember seeing the promo yeah, video and they person. just have you like in a blackjack table. I feel like it's because you couldn't really walk because you were so <laughs> yeah. pregnant, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, but you killed it and it's Thanks, it's, it's really amazing. great. Thanks, it's a really you. great special. You're Everybody, thank you. Did you fucking degenerate? <laughs> before you guys leave, because I know you are in a hurry, I just want to urge everybody watching. Who ha- everyone has Netflix, so you have no excuse to go on over there tonight, today, this weekend. Put on the degenerates. The degenerates. The degenerates. Hey, there's six parts. You're number six. That's right. I'm. Um, so watch six lucky first. Six, okay? bros. I mean, <laughs> God bless everyone else, but watch six yeah, first. Yeah, right. all the other people. <laughs> yeah, no, they're all great. They're it's a great all line. Great. They're all great. Joey great. Diaz, Yamanika Saunders, Sanders. Yeah. Uh, Lisa Traeger, Brad Williams, who's been a guest on your mom's house. Yes. And Big J Okerson and myself. Mm. So it's a killer it's lineup. A great lineup. It's it was so much shot fun. in Vegas yeah. in downtown Vegas, the seediest of all places. Mm-hmm. I'm eight months pregnant. I had a door fall on me a second before what? I went on, on yeah. stage. It was wow. fucking that crazy. To collapse. Oh it wow. Was there you crazy. Go. It was crazy. So yes. It's a but, lo- um, it's great. It's, yeah. it's, it's great. Really and great. I will say that uh what is it? A week <laughs> from Friday, my uh, I'm in a movie. 
Oh, called uh, Instant Family. Uh, oh, I saw it. Well, yeah. That looks so cool. That... It's great, man. <laughs> I, we, we saw it together. We went to a screening together. <laughs> it stars Mark Wahlberg, Rose Byrne. It's like a big family comedy, mm -hmm. but it's really well done. When is it out? Wow. November 16th. November 16th. So I cannot wait amazing. to watch yeah. that. That's going to be awesome. Family. Family's really very, very Is this fun. your first yeah. feature? Wow. Uh, Absolutely, yeah. That's yeah. exciting. It was very exciting. So it was very fun. It's his first thing, and it's like a major movie. It's yeah. not just like a That's piece of crazy. shit film. And, it's pretty and crazy. Do you have a lot of screen time in it? I, I probably have like, I don't know, somewhere between like yeah, he's seven and ten scenes. You know, it's like a Good. supporting That's character. Yeah. Good. Lick. I okay, mean, so there's 50 scenes in a movie. You know? I yeah. think, You're not in a lot I, of them. I but. think I would love to see you in more roles <laughs> like that. It was fun. I, I had saw a lot it. Of fun. I, even in the trailer, I was like, I love this. Oh, I, it's I had a good, good time movie doing too. it. And I had a, I mean, <laughs> I'm with like all stars, man. Like, really, <laughs> really. The Wahlberg. Wahlberg, who's a huge movie star, Rose Byrne, mm -hmm. this fuck amazing actress. But then, like, all the supporting cast is like Margot Martindale, you know, from The Americans, mm -hmm. and Sneaky Pete, and Julie Haggerty. It's like, it's really good acting. That's awesome. Well, I can't wait to watch yeah. it. Yeah, I'm super good. excited. Yeah, and of course, cool. guys, if you want to watch these two on tour, which you should want to. Oh, snap. Get on over to <laughs> ChristinaPOnline.com. Yeah. She I just would, announced I, the tour. I just did the Ride or Die tour. Right. Ride or Ride die. Ride or die, my dudes. ChristinaPOnline.com. <laughs> and of course, TomSegura.com slash tour. Your URL is a little hard to say on the tour page. It's like my what tour. The, URL. I, would, I wanted to say your tour yeah. URL, but it's like tour dash two or what kind of a strange frock? thing. All right, we'll change that. Yeah. I'm going to yell at someone. But <laughs> anyway, you'll find it at ChristinaPOnline.com and TomSegura.com tour. Love these two. Oh, we, we love you guys. You. And of course, your mom's house podcast, guys, which is yeah, available right. everywhere. Try it out. Which is one of the premier <laughs> podcasts. <laughs> and you, and uh, if you want to see, these two were on it. So yes, you yeah, guys were on an episode. We had a great watch, time. Watch that episode. <laughs> so yeah. um, we definitely have the podcast, obviously, more. But let's do it. Let's put a dinner on the book soon. Yeah. yeah. Come on. I was just well, starting to get therapy therapeutic use of hanging out with you guys. I know. And you <laughs> cut me short. Well, we have to do this again. Maybe you... Come back to our pick up. I got a dump. So yeah. go you gotta take a shit. We got okay. Stupid. <laughs> 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 yeah, hey, to... hashtag. I had a good time with you guys. <laughs> had a good time. You're it. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you're it. I love yeah. that. I can't believe that. <laughs> Come on, Hila. This guy understands social media. <laughs> so I had a good time here. I had a really good time. <laughs> <Good damn. laughs> okay, All right. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Have a blessed week and a blessed weekend. We appreciate you. We love you mm -hmm. so much. And a special thank you to this excellent dude's Netflix. Get the F on it and put on Degenerates this weekend. Thank you so much. We shall see you next Friday at our That's usual right. time. Uh, <laughs> Thanks for watching. He's so